Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. How are y'all doing? So, uh, I don't, I don't think I, like, showed you guys, but I was, because I think I did this. I mean, I started this off stream, but I don't think I streamed since. Um, I've been working on making uh, these things. I'm just making like a, a general sort of loadout for each weapon. Um, I finished with switch axe. It looks kind of dumb, <laughs> but the skills are pretty cool. Uh, the main thing is I just wanted something that would like work, right? Just in case someone was like, "Hey, play this weapon." Also. Uh, this set has been my go-to for any quests that I just do not feel like doing. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to say that light bowgun is easy to use. I don't want to say that bowguns are easy to use or that it trivializes the game. Because it doesn't, right? You still need to be good at the game. That being said, uh, yeah, I did a Furious Rajong with a light bowgun and, um... It was a very chill time. I am faith that you will fulfill your duty. Play Prowler? Yeah, I don't have a Prowler loadout just yet. So, um... I kind of wanted to do these. And these are single player, unfortunately, so... Let's just do that real quick. This one is with Luchica. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's get into that. And then yeah, um I'm planning on stopping streaming at twelve, hopefully not sooner than that. Uh it's seven o'clock right now for me, so that'll be in like five hours. Um in a couple hours, unless I get bored or something, uh I'll switch over to Freedom Unite and uh, we'll just go from there. Light go bun, light go bun, holy shit! Light bow gun for spread. I am my set is for uh. What? Oh, I'm impressed with your poise. Quite unlike the others. Much obliged for today. Like the most of it. Um, my set is for rapid fire, pierce too. I don't really do anything else. Hey frog, good to see you. He keeps missing, <laughs> dude. Uh, I fought Garen Golem with Light Bowgun too, and it was pretty cool. So as you can see, Garen Golem, if you haven't seen him before, he's got two arms. I thought it was bleeding. That was like a blast effect. He's got two arms. 
One's fire and one's water. And he can do that. There's this really cool move that's just kind of fun to, to deal with. Where he slams down with the fire one and, and like uses it to like rocket jump. Like that. And then he slams down with his water one. And I didn't I didn't realize that that's what he was doing. <laughs> but now that I do, it's really fun. Anthony. Garen Gum's a peaceful creature. Eh. I don't know about that one, Chief. Gum's not that kicked up, yeah. Compared to Rajar, yeah. I enjoyed this show. Also, I was fighting, uh... uh... Fuck. What was it? I was fighting something. I think it was an Elder Dragon. I don't remember which one. And we went close to a Rajong. And fucking Rajong's team took priority over the Elder Dragons. What the, what the hell kind of shit is that? You want to talk about favoritism? <laughs> Jeez, dude. You know what I mean? Like... You wanna hug Nagakuga so bad? That's fair. It's just kind of hilarious sometimes when like, I, I would assume that the music that like, you know, takes priority over something else, like would be, you know, like, like <laughs> not that way. <laughs> I would assume that Elder Dragons would like take priority over most things. And I get that Rajong is like strong. <clears throat> you know, as strong as like an elder dragon, but come on, dude, that's just ridiculous. He, yeah, he keeps missing that. I think it's just when he's not powered up. Worth it. Wow, what was that? Now, I haven't done this. I'm, I'm just gonna wait out the bleeding. Apparently you can just wait. Or maybe you have to stand still? <laughs> okay, okay. Get nay nayed So yeah, that slam is really fun to work around too. He slams down once, there's a delay, and then he slams down another time. And then he slammed the third time like faster than shit. He slams on the third time and it's like faster, so you have to kinda you know, do what I did, I guess. I didn't do that in time. I cannot fulfill my duty like Luchika! Was she low health? Like she just didn't heal? Ow. Oh boy. Oh, she gave me a bomb. Thanks. Nice, let's go! I don't know how this is the first paralysis that we've gotten, but hey, I'll take it. Okay, so also, um, I learned a couple of things about the follower quests. Um, when a monster can be mounted, if you don't take the mount, or if you even just keep attacking, the followers will eventually take the mount, which is interesting. I believe they can't not take them out if you don't, but maybe they can if they're like not close enough, for example. Uh, another thing is, um, 
followers can fail their wyvern mounting or wyvern riding. I was playing with Gallius, and he went off and got another monster. And when he came back, he tried to fight. I think it was Basil Juice versus something. Uh, but he he tried to do the, the wyvern riding thing, and he fucking failed, <laughs> and he got knocked off, and didn't get the punisher. And I'm like, wow. I was uh, I just kind of assumed that they would not be able to fail, but no, they they, they definitely can. Man, I have to like, <laughs> if I want to counter it, I have to like try to get hit by it, it's kind of funny. This is kind of his third phase, I guess. He goes from uh, calm to en enraged with his arms, and then he goes into this phase. This is like his steam phase. You can see he's got the stuff on his face as well. And I guess because it's closer, the fire and the water is closer on his face, he's able to combine them more and make like a big steam explosion, like that, and that's uh, obviously going to be damaged. It's just a really cool like moveset, honestly. I didn't really think much of it when I first fought him, but this, this monster's really fun. <laughs> He's slow and lumbering and his attacks don't seem to have too much tracking, but... It's a cool monster. Oh. I think that's a combo. Yeah, no, that's a combo. <laughs> if you if you don't wire fall out, he'll just smash you in between his hands like that. But yeah. I think this monster more so than Malzino and Luna Garen, like at least for me, it, t it took me a minute to uh, to really kind of appreciate, I guess. Outside of the context of being part of like the big three of this game. Um, I think it's just a cool monster. Really cool to see, like... <clears throat> It'll be cool to see him in, like, future games and see how he progresses and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Gameth, but fun. I heard the... I seen the comparisons to Gameth. It's kind of sad, but yeah. I don't know, man. I, I liked Gameth. I don't remember Gameth, but I do like... I think I liked Gameth. <laughs> There was like the big uh, stomp attack, there was like a big suck attack, there was a, uh, you know what I mean? Going along, I, I used to play uh, Adept like all, pretty much exclusively, so. Yeah, without his, his arms, he's really slow. And now he's tired, of course, so it's even slower. He's already almost dead, dude. If you could have a monster as your pet from any generation, which would I choose? Uh, it's a difficult choice. Assuming that they would not... Like, they absolutely would not be hostile to me, like, in any in any way. Um, there's different... <laughs> okay, so there's two schools of thought. No, fucking... I can see people choosing monsters. Same thing with Pokemon, right? <clears throat> I can see people choosing monsters because they're strong or because they have some utility, right? Uh, like, if you had a Mizutsune as, as a friend, you could kind of just, you, you know what I mean? You could just have, like, infinite soap. Like, really, really big, good soap. Um... You know what I mean? Uh... I think there's definitely some pets that would be, like, much less viable. I mean... First of all, a lot of them are just massive. These are huge monsters, right? So, <laughs> outside of the context of owning one, like, in real life, it would be have to be, like, in this type of world, I think. Because you, you can just go down the street with your fucking Glavinus, right? Um, but, you know what I mean? Keep your sights on your target. I think Glavinus would probably not be something I'd choose because of just how dangerous his tail is. I mean, in that one cutscene, he's literally just walking normally and the tail is just cutting grass and it's like, oof. 
That's uh, that's some spookums. <clears throat> and I wouldn't choose like Eurototus or any any mud monster, unfortunately. Sorry, Baroth. Just because you know the mess. <laughs> And there's some monsters I feel like need like specific uh, environments to live in, like I guess like Baryoth and uh, most ice creatures probably prefer the cold because they need to be in the cold. Kezu? I mean Palico, yeah. A Palico would be fun, because you know, it'd be small. It'd be just like a big cat. A big cat that wouldn't... that probably wouldn't scratch your face. But Glavinus could cut your lawn. So did, so could Narga. Um, I probably would choose Narga more than Glavinus to cut my lawn. <laughs> Plus, I feel like Narga Kuga wouldn't light my house on fire, cutting the lawn. <laughs> your uh, there was a there was a post on Reddit about this uh, about Chiche like being uncanny valley, and um, I can see it. I don't really feel that way, but I I don't know. Her eyes are a nice color, I never noticed. I think it's just how she's always smiling, and also, uh... Somebody's like, she looks like she's 13 or 30. <laughs> like they put an adult face on a, on a kid, I guess. I don't know. I look forward to your safe return. Anyways, more importantly... <clears throat> hey there. This cute motherfucker. No, not the traitor, goddammit. Look how cute he is, he's got a little bell, because he wanders around, I guess. I love this cat so fucking much. All right. Good luck. I don't even know anything about the cat. All I know is that he shows up where I'm going, and he's very cute. <clears throat> yeah, she's got a baby face kind of shape. Maybe it's because, like... <laughs> she's... She's not, like, super young, right? I mean, obviously she's, obviously she's younger than, like, us and, like, most other characters. But I feel like they're making her out to be, like, younger than she actually is, which is a little strange. And I guess because she's royalty, you know what I mean? Like, maybe she was more sheltered or whatever. I don't know. It's just... whatever. I, I never really cared for her too much. Also... Also that one. Left side clear, right side clear, good to go. Like, shut, shut the fuck your mouth. Shut the hell your mouth. Looks like Velma. Eh. Cause of like the round face with the, uh, with the glasses. I guess so. Uh, the other day I was doing, uh... Rondines and Captain... Ca Captain? Admiral. Admiral... <laughs> You know what's funny? I remember his name. His, he's an admiral because, uh, well, first of all, he he's got a, a massive hard on for ships. Good God. Uh, um, but I remember I remember he's like, oh, that was admirable work, and I'm like, haha, admirable, well, admiral. So that's that's why I remember that. This motherfucker has like, <laughs> can you weather the storm? He says he says, are you sure sure you're ready? And I'm a hundred percent sure. That sure, in that sense, is sure and not sure. I'm pretty sure he's making a pun there. Because he's- I'm pretty sure he sounds like he's saying, Are you sure you're ready? I'm sure it's supposed to be something like, you know, like, no, nah, he's definitely not. But uh, along with all of the other ship puns, like, ugh. This motherfucker would be like... <laughs> he'd show up to the- to the camp with a wheel on his- on his- on his belt. And the the people would be like, why is there a wheel on your belt? And he'd be like, ah, it's driving me nuts, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and everyone would shake their damn head. And he'd be like, I like ships, didn't you know? It's, uh... I think it's a bit of a trap that you might fall into when designing a character. I don't know if I'd call it flanderization. Uh, I don't know if I wouldn't call it flanderization. But it's just like when a character becomes all about one thing, you know what I mean? Kind of like how the uh, the instructor guy always says yeah. Like, that's just his character trait. He says yeah a lot. He goes yeah. Hey, let's go for a hunt, yeah? You know what I mean? Like, I get it. You know, people have patterns of speech. I totally get that. But it's just a little <laughs> annoying. <laughs> and Gallius, of course, literally named after Galleon. You know, like a type of ship. 
like... <laughs> um, I guess that's why I like, you know, the other characters like Luchika and, um... You know, Fiore. Rondine is just an inferior Fiore, and I'm sorry. Even though Rondine's like, oh hey, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty rusty, you, you wanna go for a hunt? And she's like, yeah, let's go kill Kushala. And it's like, huh? You, you said you're rusty, right? Like, what, what do you mean, Kushala? So, imagine being like, hey, I, I've been out of the game for a while, you wanna go kill an elder dragon? Like, damn, alright, Rondine, jeez. But yeah, Fiorin, I don't know, I just like Fiorin a lot. <laughs> Which is funny, because she's like the main follower, kind of. Um, I don't know. But, I don't know, I, I just think she's good. And then Luchuk is pretty fun. She's just kind of... <laughs> I don't want to say chaotic evil, but, you know, you know what I mean. I looked up the... so they, they all have uh, tendencies, right? There's no... I can't... oh, oh yeah. You can see the, the hunting style on the right there. Notice how Lu Luchika's healing frequency, it says never heals. Uh, so, for some reason, others shun hunting with her. That's probably the reason, because she doesn't care about other people, she just cares about shooting the shit out of the monster. <laughs> so, I love shipping Gallius. Yeah, exactly. It's just pretty funny. But yeah, she, she doesn't heal so much that she will literally not even heal herself, apparently. Somebody posted a meme about that in the Discord. <laughs> like, look at her health right now. If she was smart, she would put her gun away and drink a potion. <laughs> but, um, I think the point is, obviously, beyond her character, uh, personality, is to, to have them be different roles, right? Luchika is a pure DPS. Will she heal out of combat? Oh my god. You gonna heal out of combat? It's cool, I'll wait. You gonna heal? Did she even bring potions? <laughs> but Luchika is supposed to be like the DPS, right? If you want to use a lance, or if you want to use something with like diversion to get the monster's attention, you know, whatever. Or you want to use a hunting horn to buff her up. I think that's the point of her character is to be as much damage as possible. Um, and then like the tr uh, Arlo is supposed to be like the tank. Um, he's got a, he's got like oh my god he has level 3 in all of the elemental resistances. He's got so many skills that I don't think you can actually get those skills uh, yourself. Maybe she's uncanny because she's British? You know, I've never thought about that, but it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> kind of like Mate saying, hmm. <laughs> I haven't played World in like a year. Want to warm up with Vitalis? Yeah, exactly. Look at her dodging though. She's She is dodging. True, true. Her inventory is full of extra bullets and bullet materials, yeah. Hey Luchika, you got any you got any potions? And she's like, Yeah, let me check. And she's like, wait, did you say pain? <laughs> I got I got a lot of pain. No potions, sorry. Literally no potions, that's hilarious. Like hey, you wanna go gather some herbs? She's like, herbs, what for? What is that? What do herbs do? Can I put herbs in my gun? It's like, well yeah, you could actually. How much damage would that inflict? Well actually it would heal other people. Healing people, but if I'm healing people, I'm not dealing damage. Luchika! <laughs> you know what I mean? That's pretty fun. I like that dynamic, you know what I mean? She's she literally <laughs> She's literally Ungabunga. It's hilarious. She uses all of the range weapons and gun lance as well. I wonder if she's like a, a mega chad with uh with a gun lance, you know? I wonder if she's just like hella good at blocking. Or if she still gets her ass kicked. But another thing is when you go with the support quests, where you can choose who you, who you take with you and what weapon they use. Um, you know, you can choose Luchika as uh, a DPS, and then you can choose another character who has uh, healing frequency as frequent for to be the, the support, right? And you know, that's cool. You can kind of uh, build a team that way. You know what I mean? I think that's honestly pretty cool. Oh, let's go! Oh my god. You know, I didn't know how to feel about Luchika, but uh... I think I'm warming up to her. <laughs> People don't hunt with Luchika because they don't know how to handle- they don't know how to handle her Giga Chadness. I think uh, I can understand the Unga Bunga uh, sensibilities.
Luchika uses only normal one. She just loves to, to, to shoot monsters. She doesn't really pay attention. Is she rapid firing with a heavy bowgun? Wait, could you do that? I, I just assumed that uh, heavy bowguns couldn't rapid fire. <clears throat> but now that I think about it, like, I guess... I guess they could. I've always just... Oh, Luchika. I've always just assumed that, uh... Oh no, Luchika! I've always assumed rapid fire was like a light bowgun thing. Oh, uh, what does she say when you take her picture? Because they all say something different. How did it turn out? Aww. Uh, I took a picture of Gallius and he's like, Did I give you permission? <laughs> like, damn, dude, chill. Fuel rain and Luchika is all we need, true. New switch skill is diet siege mode? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, that's probably what she's doing. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Luchika's health low? Nah. She got me so many KOs and paralysis, I don't know why people don't appreciate her. I mean, in-game, I can understand why, she, you know, people don't like hunting with her, because she just, she doesn't pay attention to anyone, basically. She's just like, let's go out and kill the shit out of the monster, and I don't give a shit about, like, anything else. So if, if other hunters in this game rely on teamwork, um... You know, Luchika is not really a team player, right? She is a team player in the sense that she will do the best, her best to kill the monster, which is, you know, the objective. But there's more than just that to worry about. Also, before we get back into that, this armor set for my dog, when you sprint, you can obviously see an effect, right? Watch. Oops. You can obviously see a glowing effect, right? Like the burning fire. Something I didn't notice, which is, it's hard to notice. Um, when you do that, you're, the dog's... The dog's front end changes. Some of the armors does that, I think, but this is one of the armors that does it. The mouth opens up and the hands don't actually touch the ground. It's kind of like he's flying. It's kind of cool. He's like a ghost, you know? It's pretty sick. I noticed that literally yesterday. <laughs> I wonder if I can pause while I do this. There you go. You can kind of see it there, right? Like how the mouth is open and the, the hands are kind of just up, like floating, so... Yeah, Luchika doesn't care about her own health because, uh, because of her tragic backstory. Oh shit. Oh shit! <laughs> I don't stare at my map, so... Sometimes this stuff happens. If Luchuka just had some uh, character development where she like paid attention more to other people and helped them out when they needed it, uh, people would probably love her. <laughs> like, yo, Luchuka, let's go. I need a I need a good uh, gunner on my side, you know. And of course, you know, the higher-ups probably keep her on because she is a good gunner. And they, they see the uh, the utility of her where others can't. Either that or they're just short-handed. Or she's just, you know, uh, passionate about killing the shit out of monsters. Who knows, maybe her family was like, you know, like, like a blacksmith sort of thing. And so her, like her dad made guns or something, and then her family died to monsters, and that's why she wants to kill all the monsters. I want to see. Uh... <laughs> I think Luchika's just in the wrong game. If Luchika was uh, was the Doom Slayer, she she'd fit right in. <laughs> Oh, 
normally we hear the the songs for the monsters, but when Luchik is in the area, uh, like PFG Division just starts playing. <laughs> Oh, the dog is sans from Undertale? Alright. I didn't catch that at first. Nice. Okay. Luchika says she hunts like that because she 100% loves hunting and the thrill of the hunt. Some describe her being like a berserker. Yeah, I could see that. Wow. Yeah. It's funny. She says something like, if you don't love the thrill of hunting, then what's the point? Yeah. Yeah. I think she definitely just like... She doesn't want to die in a bed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. Nice. Oh my god. That was sick. Okay. Yeah, what do you gain by fleeing? God damn, dude. Uh, who, who calls who calls the monsters cowards? I think it's Fiorin, but maybe Luchika. I can see Luchika, call, Luk, Luchika calling them a coward. Yeah, Luchika doesn't see the, the, the point in self-preservation, clearly. <laughs> Come back so I can kill you harder. <laughs> Legend said Luchika was not in the world, because she would have made Fatalis too easy. True. I mean, I believe that shit. Watch, Jacob's gonna make a video about fucking Luchika and how, like, this is proof that this game, that the, the story is all about how the hunters don't care about the environment and it's all just a big game to them. And humans are so overpowered and, and yada 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 and monsters don't stand a chance. Uh, and this is why, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh. Will she get upset if I capture it? I mean, technically we're hunting it. I don't think she necessarily cares if it dies or not. Yeah, she did. She said, haha. <laughs> Fine work out there. <laughs> And, like, she obviously, like, isn't isn't rude or anything. She just doesn't think about it, right? Like, we kind of wave at her, you know. And she's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, her, her acknowledging you at the end of the hunt is, like, an afterthought or something. I don't know. <laughs> There's a monster, not a mermaid. Well, now you're just splitting hairs. Is that a fish down there? Holy shit. Oh no! <laughs> it's the it's the sail or a flag. <gasps> I thought this shadow here was a fish, but it's just oh god, that makes me dizzy! Wow, wow, wow! Uh, it's just the flag up there. <laughs> it's just a shadow from it. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's go talk to Luchika. See, she has my deep... I have her deepest gratitude. Uh, she's been immensely pleased to hunt with me. Oh, Feared my training would suffer as I was not able to find someone to hunt with, but thanks to you, my fears have been allayed. I must admit, I am not well experienced at revealing my softer side, but I do wish to express my deepest gratitude. Uh, she's not like a sundere, sundere, but you know what I mean? She's just kind of like... I don't know what, what to call it. I don't want to say autistic, but you know what I mean? Like, she just doesn't... She's not cold, necessarily. She just isn't as warm as other people. <clears throat> Which is cool. I mean, it's cool to have characters, uh, you know, that are more varied in that way. I think that's nice. Uh, kindness will not be forgotten if perhaps you have time to hunt together. Do not hesitate to call on me. For the, order. the question is, 
person that keeps me up at nights is if she's single. Fair enough. I've been waiting for you. My colleagues inform me that you regularly embark on the hunt with Luchika. Oh no. Oh no, Fiore ain't found out. Guys, what do I do? Oh no. I presume you are aware of her... Well, you know. An exemplary knight, of course, but when faced with a monster, she becomes somewhat of a monster herself. <laughs> Uh-oh, Fiorin's trying to get me to lose interest in, in Luchika. Fiorin is jealous. Uh-oh. The contrast with her, her usual calm persona is so stark. Other knights find her intimidating, especially younger ones. As a result, few will, few will accompany her out in the field. It's a blessing that you've been taking her under your wing. Yeah, under my wing. Yeah, that's definitely what's happening here, Fiorin. Don't, you don't have to worry about anything. I've come to you now because of a quest that calls for three hunters. Invite her and let us undertake it together. Uh-oh. Make us proud. Fiorin wants to show me that uh <laughs> that I only have room for one person and it's gonna be Fiorin. And not <laughs> Uh oh. The armor she gives you is pretty alright. Her belt is using the few build few builds I've tried. So when I was making this one, I had to get the charité ch charity charity char chari charita. Uh, I had to get the Chiche's gloves and uh, Gallius's greaves. Uh, that's why I was doing. Also, this is kind of a clown suit. Don't, don't worry about it. It's all. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, the outpost greaves. Uh, for some reason, like I was just using a. Uh, also, this is a work in progress. I don't actually have enough. I need more critical and tenderizer jewels. This is supposed to be like a 100% affinity build, with a. Uh, yeah, level 5 handicraft. Uh, I know, critical draw with greatsword, what is this? But I figure with strong arm stance, critical draw is actually useful. Because critical draw takes effect, I think I read 3 seconds after letting go of the of the attack button. If, you know, when you unsheath. <clears throat> and I think that means that it will affect strong arm, strong arm stance, but I haven't actually put this together to test it just yet. But anyways. Um, yeah, some of these skills, some of these armors are, like, really good. Um, like, just as individual. Like, look at this. Level 3 focus and level 3 wide range, just from this headpiece with a 2 slot. Now, maybe in a mix set this won't be very useful, but just by itself, that seems really, really good. Oh, yeah, Charge Master. Yeah. Uh, level 3 punishing draw with a 4 slot is pretty good with Quick Sheath. I mean... Uh, there was one, the Sailor set. Yeah, it has level 3 focus on the gloves with a 3 slot. Level 3 protective... Level 3 protective polish, level 3 ballistics on, on the waist, you know what I mean? Like, look at all this evade window, oh my god. Kind of insane. So, some of these are just like really strong, uh, just... Just on their own. And maybe that's just G-rank armors in general, but I just haven't been paying attention, but... It's kind of crazy. Offensive guard is also brutal with strong arm stance. I didn't think about that shit. I might need to try to fit that in, or like sw switch some skills around. What is offensive guard actually? Like, what's the specifics? <sighs> Let me just open up the uh, thing. Strong arm stance, or not strong? Wow. Uh, offensive guard. It increases attack by fifteen percent. That's a lot. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, I should probably get strong arm stance. Since Master Rank uh, Great Sword, in my opinion, is going to be, uh, you know, um, more about the strong arm stance than anything else. <laughs> Smithy talking over Hedy, and he actually waited, cracked me up. I try. I swear she's so rude. She doesn't. She just she just talks and talks. Like, at least when Hammond would talk, he'd be like, Uh, take your time, I'm used to waiting. And that's all he would say, you know? But her, she's, she's like, giving me her life story, I swear. Every few seconds, like... <sighs> her voice lines are just too long. <laughs> Can we still farm Beautiful Shell in the old jungle? No, it's not there anymore, unfortunately. Huh? <gasps> To be a long day. Oh my god! <laughs> so Luchika said, uh, it's been a while since I've been on a on a group hunt. This is gonna be most enjoyable, and Fiorin says, this is gonna be a long day. What? What? What's the matter, Fiorin? Are you alright? 
I just couldn't help but notice you seem to be in awful good spirits. It's I'm in my element, you know. This is my happy place. Aww. You better buckle up for a wild ride. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I think what you're asking me is, do I think Luchika is a dom? Um, honestly, I could see it being either way. I have a feeling that... <sighs> and I don't know if it's true at all. Um, I guess just in my experience. I feel like submissives are more like... They're more confident in their life, and that's why they feel excited about when they lose control, right? Because they have control. They more or less feel like they're in control. Rather, also, I can see it being the opposite, where, like, they feel like they have no control, and so being controlled by someone else is comforting for them. As well as someone being having their life in control is important to them, and so they, they feel... You know what I mean? I, I, I guess I can see it both ways, so I wouldn't be surprised. I can see people not having enough control in their life, and they don't feel like they'd be safe being submissive to someone else. And I can see someone, you know, not having enough control in their life, and they would feel like they want to be, you know what I mean? So it's all it's all dependent on the dynamic and all that. Hey Fiorain, good counter. Next time hit the monster! <laughs> Gosh, be like Luchika. I can't believe I'm saying- it's a joke. Come back, please. Oh my god, Luchika. <laughs> I sure can. I will crush and destroy and... Ooh, shiny. Oh no. Oh no, I forgot about that one. He goes he goes sideways or horizontally. And he's enraged, so is the third one. That's <laughs> so cool. Just seeing a Bishiton breeding fire. So yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm definitely feeling the uh, Sacred Sheath a lot more than I used to. Uh, it's still extremely risk and reward, and it still feels pretty bad when I mess it up. But um, I have more of an idea on how to get it to work. Um, there's there's two schools of thoughts. I, I hate that. I hate that, that line. There's two schools of thoughts. Or a thought. Like, it's, it's just... There's a reason that they made, uh, what's his name, Dwight, from The Office? There's a reason that they made him say that line, because it's such a stupid fucking line, and nobody, anyone who says that, loses, like, any credibility for saying that. Because it's so dumb. Sorry, anyways. Uh, <laughs> I can see people using strong, uh, Sacred Sheath outside of combat and using the back pop to get back into it. Um, I think that's totally fine. Um... But I also think it's it's really useful to face the monster with it, because then you can use the back hop, which gives you way more uh, range. Uh, you can use the back hop to get away from danger, and then you know do the short hops to get a little closer, and then you unleash it. Um, it all just depends on the monster. If a monster is super aggressive like Rajong, it's actually kind of easier to use. If a monster stays away like Astalos or you know uh, Rathalos, more like ranged attacks would be more more annoying. So. Oh my god, you guys. Is this the second KO? Pretty sure we already had a KO. Also, I think Luchika probably holds her fire if you're in her way. Maybe? Or at least she tries to get out of the way. Oh no, Luchika! I'm baiting Luchika. Don't take that out of context. I will find you. Whoa! 
Oh my god, Alex, the parasol. Alright, shoot me. Yeah, no, I don't think she cares. <laughs> She's using stickies, though. She's kind of based. And by kind of, I mean very. I'm trying to get another uh, KO, even though I'm, it's going to be kind of hard. This is the third one. Oh, he's almost done. I shall spare you. I shall show mercy. Oh, she, she planted a trap! Get nae nade. Does Minecraft have a Monster Hunter mod? I think it really does, actually. Luchika's not my favorite NPC. I mean, they're all pretty good. I don't know. I don't want to say I don't like Gallius. He's just too gimmicky, if that makes sense. I feel like people are going to like him because he's the daddy or whatever. <laughs> I have a gay friend and I'm like, hey, have you have you fought with daddy yet? I, I mean, daddy? I, I mean, I mean, daddy? Because I mean <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what he's going to call him. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Um, he seems alright. I don't know anything about his personality. I guess I haven't really been paying too much attention, I guess. Um, or either that or he just doesn't really have much going on. No, no, okay. Ah, I got hit by the this fucker. Another thing that sucks with Sacred Sheath is that you will often just get robbed. Um, <clears throat> you'll just have like wind pressure or a roar or something, and like you just lose. You just get the you get the counter instead, which is not what you want. I'm gonna see if he moves towards me. Oh! Nice, close. He's not trying to run, is he? No! Ah! <laughs> Greedy. Here's the ears. Oh boy. <laughs> hey Tech Roshuk. I'm doing alright, how are you? Yeah, I, I have not played the Monster Hunter mod for Minecraft, but I'm decently sure I looked for it once and I found something. Kept you waiting, huh? Also, if you heard me say Jacob earlier, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about Jacob E in the chat. Unless it's the same person. No, there's a there's a Oh, dude. Oh, I couldn't get a picture. He was he was cleaning his ears or something. But half of his ears are gone because I fucking cut them off. Don't do this to me, Capcom. I feel terrible now. I don't even need his ears for anything, as far as I know. God damn it. <laughs> it's his weakest spot. God damn it. It's a, you know what, it's exactly like, even in second generation, I felt so terrible. It felt so sad, breaking Gypsaros' uh, flash crystal and him trying to use the flash crystal, but it not working because you broke it. That feels awful, man. Like, he's so used to it working, 
it's just his it's his it's his defense mechanism, right? And it's just not working. And, he, and he's so confused, he doesn't notice. It's so sad. And then of course in G rank he just he just farts poison instead, but still. Uh Oh no. Uh I'll just wait. Thanks, buddy. Unless they kill him. Come on. <laughs> Luchika. <you go? laughs> Luch Luchika, chill. Is Quick Sheath ability good? Yes. Um, I actually wanted to check out a couple of abilities. Uh, <laughs> At least she was trying to do a Wyvern shot. Her weapon fire shot, and she uh, <laughs> she didn't she didn't get it off. No. Ah. Some monsters with really fast roars uh, are hard to avoid. Oh, I thought that was a, a thing. Oof. Oh my god. I think Lucha could heal me. Fiorin's like, uh, really? <laughs> oh my god! That was sick, alright. Wow. I think there's room in the world for two best girls, alright? That's, that's fair to say. Oh, let's go. Well, actually three. At least three. Oh my god! We're bullying him. If we get a knockout too? Okay. <clears throat> now his legs are broken, so we can focus on them and actually deal damage. Oh, he's running. Nah, that makes sense. I'd be running too. This should fix it. Did I play for ultimate? Yes. Uh, I played up to G rank, but I didn't. I didn't get past that. I kind of just gave up. I didn't give up. I just kind of stopped playing at that point. I think generations came out, so I just kind of played that instead. What are glum, gla gl glum grass buds for? Because uh, I know that sun scorned herbs are for sun scorned grass. Oh, that's for the other end. Is glum glum grass the? Uh... Did she just sneeze? Did she just sneeze? <laughs> she did not just sneeze, did she? Is that a sneeze? There's no way. Do you think that? There's no way. Oh, uh, something that Hinoa, like, shook her head at was, uh, prancing. Let's see how they react. Wonderful. <gasps> nice, let's go! <laughs> Fiorin likes it, Luchika doesn't, Hinoa doesn't, I think Hinoa, or, or Minoto. I, I get it mixed up too many times. I don't remember, it was the one who was, like, in the guild hall, the sad one, quote unquote. Yeah, more is expected of you, like, if you were to heal yourself. Thank you. Oof!
Oof, that was close. Oh, nice. Cheeky roar in us. Yo. Oh. Aww. I mean, alright. It's so funny the quake. The quake effects happen like. Like, if you almost get hit by an attack, that's the only time that, like, Quake or uh, Wind Crushable attack will affect you. And I guess that's how it was in the old games, but, like, in this game, I guess there's just obviously way more mobility. And the, uh, the more... The more subtle differences between positioning are less obvious, I guess. Because there's more space to move, there's more... Movement to be had. <laughs> yeah, Luchika's expression. Sure. What else? Uh, well done. Great. Nice. Nice. We be clapping though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Fine work out there. I want to see both of them. <sighs> what kind of bullshit is this? I've never seen such bullshit before. Hey there, Colt Gunner. How's it going? It's a lot of materials. Luchika's outfit looks good, yeah. They both look pretty good. I think it's because her armor is supposed to be specifically for bow gunners, and bow gunners' uh, armor just, in my opinion, look better, anyways. Not, not always, but. Ooh. Uh, oh, wow. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Let's get some mushies. So. These, these backroom trades, as you can see here, I'm getting stuff like my, Mind Guard Knight. <laughs> Such a dumb name. Uh, and it sells for 20,000. That's pretty good. If I just keep doing this, um, I kind of don't need to do mining runs unless I'm spending money at an extreme rate. Uh, but I'll be, oh, I'll be able to just. I've got some great deals for you. Um, just check my box every now and then, and look at this, I already have like a handful of these. The golden fries I can sell, 4,000 monies there, 80,000 monies there, uh, 40,000 monies there. If I have any platinum eggs that I haven't sold, those sell for 100,000 each. Those are usually from like hard quests. But yeah, you can get like a lot of money by just doing the backroom trades. Uh, you know, and like selling those things. Yeah, the back rooms. Thank you for joining me. Luchigo was pleased to have been able to sharpen her skills. I know her skills and her intelligence are unquestionable, so I'd like to give her the responsibility of leadership. But the younger knights especially are so taken aback by her uncharacteristic ferocity in battle. Of course, the more experienced knights simply smile and look on. Arlo in particular seems to enjoy it, of course. I suppose it's just her nature, and until others get used to it, I must thank you for hunting with her. I bet if you take Arlo and Luchika on a quest together, um, you'll probably be pretty happy about it. So then there's Sir J. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say I don't like Sir J. <laughs> He's literally just the ace hunter, or the, the ace rookie, sorry, or whatever. Um, and the ace, what, the ace rookie actually has a name, right? They, they gave fourth gen characters, like, actual names, like Sophia. And honestly, I like it when characters have names. Uh, it's kind of sad when they're just called, like, you know, the handler. Have I seen the Kahoot mask? Yes. 
Oh, holy shit, there's 45 people here. 48. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, if you're here for Freedom Unite, I'll be doing that later. Feel free to like and subscribe if you're if you're having a good time. I hope you're having a good time. Uh, either way, what's the what's the ace cadet's name? Uh, wow, I type ace cadet and I see ace cadet stapler, ace cadet model 302, ace cadet stapler model 302, and then I see ace cadet puns. <laughs> I don't see <laughs> I don't see anything for Monster Hunter until like oh his name's Aiden yeah. Have I seen the monk snail hat? Yeah, I actually have it, actually. Yeah, uh, Aiden is the ace cadet. The other... Oh, wow, the, the serious handler has a name, too. Her name is Leah. She's great. I like her. Does the handler have a name? Or is she just called the handler? Uh, she's just called the handler. That sucks, man. I think the handler's cool. She takes some time to get used to, I guess. <laughs> handler, serious handler. Field leader, excitable A-lister, yeah. I think excitable A-lister is Aiden, isn't it? Or is that someone else? But yeah. Uh, serious handler at least has a name, apparently. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, okay, look, the man, Yay! his name is unique enough, you know? Well, well. Uh, he's he's the blacksmith from 4 Ultimate. Yeah, I would appreciate if they used the actual names too, honestly. Like, unless there's no need for us to know their names, I understand. <clears throat> but, I feel like it wouldn't really, you know, bother much to just call them by their name. Especially in cutscenes, right? Like, when you call out to the character, what do you, do you say, Ace Cadet, you know, or Cadet? That's, that's lame. Just call him by his name. Especially in a situation like that, you should call him by his name, you know? Uh, Basarius is really slow. I'm gonna do this. Oh, nice. He's not really fired up, unfortunately, so won't do as much. It's fine. Ooh. All right, we take this. Uh. Oh my God, that was sick. Let's go. Oh no. It's coming for you. I swear I can get the timing for that. It's it's right after he shakes his like <laughs> stomach, I guess. Ah! They have a, un a unique and universe language, and the NPCs don't have names. Uh, I mean, it's more like simlish, I think, isn't it? Isn't it just like gibberish? I think it's like Japanese gibberish, specifically. <laughs> like the uh, the caravan leader, he just goes like, ah, you know, <laughs> he just goes ah. What what is what is happening? I didn't. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, that's what he's. That's the sound he makes. Imagine being so upset at someone who's not even paying attention to you. <sighs> Must be a driver in my area. Well, now. Why am I still on him when he's doing that? I think we really ticked it off. Nice. I'm gonna take some notes. Uh Jay does use a charge blade, so he's uh, of course based out of space. So I'm gonna chase you! Off we go! Yeah, he's he's literally the ace the ace cadet. And like It'd be cool for them to meet, because the Ace Cadet has grown, like, so much. Uh, it's... you know what I mean? Like... He's, he's, J he's Jaden, because, like, I feel like calling him a cadet's kind of, like, a disservice to how much he's he's progressed as a character, which is kind of cool. He's still, he's still you know, an idiot. <laughs> but at least now he can back up his, uh, you know, his actions and stuff. I think he gets new gear, also like throughout the story of 4 Ultimate. I'm pretty sure like as you progress. I think he might change weapons, but I'm I mean I'm pretty sure he's just a sword and shield user. But maybe he changes weapons, but yeah, he, I think he starts out with like the Velocipray uh sword and shield and then he gets like new stuff and he's like he's like, hey uh caravan hunter, check out my my new my new drip. And you know that's just really cool to see. Because it's like it's like he just like me for real for real, you know what I mean? Like cause like we do that. <laughs> We're like, hey, I got a new weapon, check it out. And now <clears throat> an in-game character is also like, hey, I got a new weapon, check it out. And, you know, I could just appreciate that. Maybe I'm just remembering, uh, not remembering correctly. Why did you put dude in quotations? What? <laughs> he's a uh, he's Sir J. He's uh, basically the ace cadet of this game. Yeah, but Sarius is pretty tough. I'm pretty sure I was attacking his weak spots too. But as you can see, the hit zones are really low, and this, of course, doesn't show. <sighs> like you see, you see on the top right there where it says normal. I'm pretty sure it says normal there because we should be able to push a button to show like different states that the monster is in, like maybe enraged or you know this or that. But I guess they never implemented that or something, or they forgot to, because uh, it's 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 just not there. But yeah, this is my uh, my Pierce two build. Uh, it's it's pretty good. I like it a lot. Let me not forget to change to to blue. Blue scroll. It's a rock. Yeah, Ace J is Ace Cadet Junior. Yeah, that's that's fair. I feel like a million zenny. Bring it on. One thing is he doesn't really make many puns. So you know, Ace Cadet's better. <laughs> uh, let me 
me do this. Oh, you planted a trap. Whoops. I didn't know that would I didn't know it works when he does that. Oh my god, it's like a it's like a pitfall. Holy shit. I assumed he would have broken it, like you know, like always. That's cool. I guess it's not it's a swim move, right? It's not like uh it's not a burrow move like Daimyo. But I guess technically it is different. Demon shots. Pretty sure I can use demon shots with this. No, you don't. Hey Joe, good to see you. Hope you're having a good time. We're playing Fortnite? Yeah, of course. You know it. Oh, I keep forgetting to use the bombs. When he's rolling, do I have enough time? Maybe. Um. I'm not sure really how people use the light bowgun bombs, but or the mines, but um, I kind of just place them around the, the area and sort of put myself in between the monster and the 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 bombs, and they kind of they usually work. So if I just wait, unless Jay gets fucking knocked away, yeah. If Jay didn't get knocked away, he would have mounted the the barrel. But I didn't want to. Yeah. That took five minutes. The first one took ten. 
Oh, I don't have any. Never mind, I do. Oh no. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah, baby. All right. What does Jay think of the of Prance? Of course. <laughs> of course, he likes the Prance. <laughs> Moving bombs on light bowgun feels so bad. I don't know. I mean, nailed it. Nice. It kind of. I don't know. It, 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 it. Joe is Candace's brother. Oh damn, nice. I didn't know he had family. I don't know. I feel like the wyvern bombs are fine. At first, I was like, I don't know how to even. Oh right, let me. I've had this this ready for, like since we've started, and I just have not. Uh, done this yet. I wanted to do this on stream both so you guys could see what I get as well as so I can look back at the, at the in the in the, the archive the VOD whatever and I could like add it to my list here you are. so here we go um yeah I'm not really gonna go I'm not gonna like so these are all like different colors now like rarity 8, 9, and 10 I guess I guess let's see what we got Uh, some of the new skills, of course, like, I think Coalescence and Spirit Bird Caller or whatever. Charge Master, nice. Stun Resistance 3, let's go. Ooh, 4 slot. See anything you guys are jealous of? <laughs> Heartbreaker 3, nice. And I'll just I'll just do new ones too. Right here we go. I don't want to use accelerants though. Like I don't, I don't like how they keep asking me. Um, because I don't want to use them. <laughs> right here we go. I kind of don't see the need for using accelerants, except that like, you know, unless like you really want new talismans right now. But I'm, I don't know. I'm not I'm not really super interested in that. Even though I have a ton of them. Okay then. All right, here we go. I'm really oh, glad that they give us uh, melding specific materials. That that really makes me happy because it kind of felt bad to have to use all my materials, you know, and then just not have any left. You bet Ace Cadet with Prance too? Maybe, yeah. I'd like to think so. <laughs> Come again. Let's go talk to Jay. You're the best. What's he got to say? Yo, I'm gonna be Admiral if I keep watching you. Nice. You're gonna show me more of them. I'm throwing myself into training every single day so I can turn out. Well, gotta go pump some iron. <laughs> I don't know, man. He seems all right. Oh. Also, yeah. <laughs> this is the Furious Rajong that I killed with him. I took this picture and he's like, did I give you permission? <laughs> and then, of course, uh, whoever that is. <laughs> and Lushika just now. The brew hair. I finally got a picture of this fucking thing. I saw him, like, one of the first days that I played this game on the Switch, and I just didn't take a picture because I, I didn't know that we had- not, we didn't have to do that, but you know what I mean? I didn't know that that was a thing. <clears throat> also this fucking guy. <clears throat> Rajang Pog. Fucking... Rajang nut face. Alright, whatever. Hello. You hard? Later, Colt Gunner. Nineteen dollar hunter card. Who wants it? Monkey profile picture moment. Yeah. Uh, Arlo told me you were taught by Yutsushi. Huh. If he taught you all your tricks, you must be—he must be like a proper master. Yeah. I would love to see him hunt. Do you think we could hang out sometime? Say you'll ask him. Say you'll ask him. Come on, please. Invite Mr. Sushi and we. Uh, Alright, I don't like... 
Jay really loves working out. Th th that's fine. Whatever. It's alright. That's cool. Nothing wrong with caring about your body. So, Puki, Rachna, and Diablos. I'm just gonna bowgun. Because they're gonna use. Uh, I don't remember. I think Utsushi has dual blades uh, by default, and Jay is charge blade. So, I'll just let them. I'll let them do that. <laughs> Can she repeat that? Uh, no. <clears throat> Dual swords out for Rajang. Yeah, same. <laughs> I see Bay. Yeah, Fior Bay. Board Rajang Yacht Club. Nice. I mean, it's a real honor to go hunting with you, Master Itsushi. Looking forward to it, Jay. The day is guaranteed to be up. <laughs> BBQ with you, know who? That lens big enough for all these muscles? <laughs> is, I is... want to take a picture of me, too. Okay. Is that lens big enough for all these muscles? He burnt his meat! Well, it can't be an ace at everything. This idiot! <laughs> he burnt his fucking- and he said, oh no, it's ruined. Oh my god. I can't believe that. I'm so happy that they can burn their meat. <laughs> Motherfucker's like, is, is that lens big enough for all these muscles? <laughs> I'd take a picture of me too. Alright, Jay's, Jay's pretty cool. He's, he's a fucking a meathead gym bro, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Alright, I'm kind of not really paying attention. Uh, Kamura's here and their teacher and me in the mix. Not even from the village, but giving props to Ace. Oh, shit, me out. Nothing suspicious around here. Not even from the village, but giving props to Ace, gnarly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, we're the Ace Hunter to, to Utsushi. As Catherine's teacher, I'm going to be slacking off. Pretty inspiring stuff, top-notch. I'll try to live up to the name of, the, of a knight of the Royal Order. You know, with a name like Royal Order... Uh, it doesn't really inspire confidence as much as make me concerned. Maybe that's just because of uh, prior experiences with royal orders. The time is coming, so have I. True. Hope you guys are ready for light bowgun gaming. Yeah, <laughs> spear shot. Oh no no no! That's no good. I should probably check its its zones. I think its head his head's the weak spot. No. Oh, I don't bring. For some reason, I don't have any uh, herbal medicine in this item loadout. Item set. into that one. Talking over each other, dude. That's the problem with having like too strong of personalities in in groups. Like, like you need you need people who don't talk that much to give room to the people that do talk that much. Yeah. 
Imagine having a full group of like talkative people. In in a game, I mean. Um Oh no, I only have two. Dunky actually made a video about like sound in video games, and it's honestly pretty true. It's like kind of underrated. Um but it's very important, obviously. And I think he even has a couple of clips of like like fucking Xenoblade or some shit. And um there's just like five people talking over each other at the same time. And it's like, dude, <laughs> the game needs to make room for all these characters if you want to have all these characters have voice lines. And honestly, that's kind of the problem with, uh, with character, like, character-driven games, I suppose, which, you know, um, I feel like TF2 does it really well, but I feel like Overwatch kind of... I haven't played Overwatch in such a long time, but I never really got the vibe that Overwatch's characters, like, talks too much, if that makes sense. Rather, like, there wasn't any character that talked more than another, <laughs> and it didn't feel like overall that they talked too much, I suppose. Maybe it's just I was too more focused on, like, you know, the game. Although, again, that, that's just a, an example of how it wasn't distracting, I suppose. Of course, me coming back to the to the camp and hearing like two people talk over each other is, is pretty obvious compared to like you know all all that. Yeah, gunslinger. There's there's four radio loadouts and I named them after Dante's styles. <laughs> I don't know what trickster is gonna be, but yeah, I got uh, swordmaster, gunslinger, trickster, and royal guard. I also don't know what royal guard's gonna be. Probably like I don't know, lance. Oh, well. Not Lance, but again, I don't, they're radial sets, so who knows. I feel like the radial loadout system in this game is really confusing and not great. I think World had a better way. So in World, um, I believe you could you could link uh, layered armor sets to equipment sets, meaning you can have like for as many equipment sets as you have, you could link. Oh shit, Whalenard? <laughs> ah! um, for as many equipment sets as you had, you could you could link up an, a, a, an appropriate layered armor to make it look like how you want. And in this game, there's no such thing. Like you don't you don't connect layered armor with um... You, you, you know what I mean? Uh, in this game, it's literally you just have a layered, layered armor. And if you don't have any layered armor, then you don't have any. But if you do, then you do. And you, do, you can't like change layered armor with what your equipment set is, so... This is the whole thing. I need to get out of... Uh... There it is. Yeah. I needed to get out of Frenzy. This was taking damage. I think the difference between the Ace Cadet... And, or, you know, Aiden and Jay. Did they just... Oh, we have to kill this one too anyways. Alright. I was gonna say, like, did they just, like, forget that we were fighting Uki? I forgot we have to kill all the monsters. I never thought about it, but you could definitely hit the head a lot easier with, uh, obviously with Light Bowgun. Because hitting hit the head of Rakna is, like, pretty hard. You know, that damage was not, not bad. Wow. I did 50 damage with the, with the Bowgun melee, that's... And I think it does KO damage? I mean, hey, shit. That ain't bad. <laughs> no shit? <laughs> they made the bowgun melee good? Oh. See, I don't think the head hitbox is active when it's like that. Because I'm literally not even hitting it. That's crazy. I guess that explains why it's so hard to hit. Oh, I need more. I need more power. Or, uh, bullets. Oh, 
That's a lot of damage, and she's up. Okay. Yo, that, that Dumpy's taking a lot of damage now. Holy shit. That Badonka Donk was really kind of... You know? That... That Gargantua ass. <laughs> Does that even work? That makes sense. DMC 2 Spider Boss? It's like the DMC 1 Spider Boss. Formally requesting assistance as your mentor. That's hilarious. I haven't really gone on a hunt with Dude Sushi before, this is funny. Also, if you didn't know, um, each character, each of the followers has specific weapons that they're good with, that they that they can use. And Dude Sushi can use all of the weapons. It's fucking awesome. And I guess it makes sense since, you know, he's our mentor. And, you know, they can't account for what weapon we choose. It'd be weird if like you could only use like dual blades and you know what I mean a handful of stuff and it's like oh yeah but he taught us how to use hammer or whatever. Don't think so. <laughs> How do you be acting like chat? No. It's she also gives you all your switch skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. So, uh, what do you want to do? Want to shoot the breeze? <laughs> um. Although, it's implied, I guess, that uh. I mean, I don't think it's she like made the switch skills. Oh, come on. You're running. Oh. Never mind. Uh, I don't think Utsushi made the switch skills, but he knows them enough to teach them, which is insane. Uh, and of course, the Elgato, um, of course, they, they, they followed, they, Arlo taught them, I suppose, and I think Arlo, oh yeah, Arlo taught Utsushi, so, it's just a whole, it's like a chain, is it, didn't Arlo teach Utsushi? I don't know, it's whatever, but, um, it's kind of cool how the Elgato hunters fight like us. I was assuming that, it, you know, us bringing the Kimura hunting to Elgato would be, like, unique and they'd be like, wow, we don't know how you do that shit, you know, with, like, the wire bugs and shit, but no. Uh, it turns out, if only for gameplay uh, reasons and, like, you know, not, you know, whatever, uh, it turns out that everyone just hunts the same. I guess, to be fair, like, we're in the same-ish area, or at least close enough to be, like, close enough to help each other in their times of need stuff like that because they were like you know <clears throat> when when Kimura needed help before we didn't help them or this or that or I don't know and again that could just be uh, sort of like a plot hole as well uh, because you know with the rampage and all that it's not a plot hole necessarily but like Elgato didn't exist yet okay ow <laughs> Rondine explains it, you'll see she just jumps between Kimura and Elgato and taught Hunters at first. Oh, so we might have brought a wire bug to the Elgato area. Nice, okay. There you go. But I know Arlo and Yutsushi like know each other. I'm pretty sure Arlo taught Yutsushi, or maybe it was the other way around. I don't remember. Uh, I'm pretty sure Yutsushi like looks up to Arlo though. I want to break the horns, that's why I'm shooting the head. Also, Spare Shot is so fucking good. It's busted. It's OP. 
in my opinion, I, I think Spirit Shot is kind of a non-negotiable skill for Bogum. <laughs> well, any ranged weapon. Just having a chance to not use a bullet or a coating is kind of insane. As if. Yeah, good, good flash, good flash, good flash, good flash, good flash. <laughs> Being toxic to an NPC. Oh no. Easy dodge, easy dodge. The amount of tracking that move has is fucking garbage. Maybe I'm just like rolling the wrong way or something? I don't know. Hello? Which bowgun is this? This is the Malzino one. There it is. The health drain, I believe, is from being frenzied. I'm not really sure. Or rather, I think it's from being frenzied from my armor set. Oh, maybe I just need to roll into him. He does that. I mean, I have tons of roll distance, but still. I need to get back into Moxie territory. Roll into him or away, maybe. Or, obviously, just roll to the left. Because his head comes down to the right. Yeah, I think that's it. Jade not getting hit by an attack. Impossible challenge. Oh, I didn't roll in time. Oh, jeez, was that Moxie? <clears throat> I think that would have killed me. Something would have killed me. It's interesting. I guess it's because it's a higher level of Moxie, but like, I, I'm not left at 1 HP. Total game size? Let me check. Uh, a little under 30 gigabytes. 
I need to up my adaptability more. The iframes for my rolls are, are too low. True. True. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Jay is the character in the movie whose job is to die. To show the character to show the viewers how dangerous the situation is? Yeah. <sighs> they did that with Ellis in Vindictus. They didn't have to do that to my boy. Spoilers, I guess. You're sure to find the <clears throat> on you. Wow, that's a bunch. Vindictus's story is actually pretty good. I can make the Red Geos Greaves. Hey, 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 good to see ya. I guess I needed Goldite. Looks great. The armor is currently tinted because of a. Uh, yeah. Looks so cool. <clears throat> Alright, let's do one more, then I'll switch to Freddy Knight probably. It's a knight's duty to get ripped. <laughs> it's a knight's duty to get ripped, yeah. Sir J fucking. He buys whey protein in bulk. You know what I mean? He wakes up and drinks like a, a protein shake and shit. Oh my god. Look at that chick in the background. Can we hunt with her? She seems... She's like the Harley Quinn. She's fucking insane or something. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? I can tell he's really proud of you. Aww. I can bet everyone from your villages. Aww. Wow. Hope I can make everyone proud of me one day. Nice. <clears throat> He's gonna make everyone proud of him, and me too, you'll see. Just keep inviting me on quests, Getting okay? Buff, all for the kingdom. <laughs> I mean, I can't hate that. I can hate that he didn't give me any rewards for it! I'm just kidding. Unless. Alright, so this is uh, Rondine and Fiorine, actually. <clears throat> what is it again? How about Berioth? Kez oh, Kezu, Somnicanth, Gosharag, okay. Uh, okay. I can do I can do bowgun for the first two, and I'll switch to longsword for the third. He's a fun chap, yeah, yeah. He means well, and sometimes that's all you really need to. He snorts protein. Jay seasons his meals with whey. Yeah. My dude is committed to the grind. It's hard to look proud while blushing. Could could you guys stand next to each other? Oh my god. To take a picture of me. A okay. great way to remember today. Uh that's good enough, I guess. Don't show it to anyone, okay? <laughs> Just don't show it to anyone. Aww. Any switch axing? Oh, I could use Swax. I could use switch axe actually for Gossarug. I'll do that. I usually play longsword because it's just what I'm most comfortable with, but I actually have other weapons. Can you imagine you as a traitor? Huh? Oh. Oof. 
Imagine you as a traitor, how'd you pull it off? My performance was impeccable. And she's like, why are you smirking? And she says, I believe it was they who were fooling you. And she's implying that, uh... She thought she was doing a good job with hiding her, her, like, whatever. But, uh, if you aren't saying nah, bitch. Fucking suck. Everyone knew. Everyone knew and you blew it! <laughs> yeah, exactly, Virgil. Where are you going? Yeah? Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Wow. That's like 30 per tick. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, oh no way. I did that? Did I just do that? I don't have any evade window. I, I rolled through it? I don't have any, like, earplug buffs. Dude. God damn. Oops. Mom, get the camera here. Yeah. Oh, hello. It may not seem like it, but this is peak light bow gun performance. <laughs> or rather indistinguishable from. Hey Evan. Heal, there we go. No! Wake me up inside. I think they all have flinch free, like all of them. They all have at least one flinch free, so I can't, like, save them. What are they- oh. <laughs> this will be really funny when Somnicanth just leaves. What are they- what are they doing? Rondine, what are you- what are you- Guys, you're giving up? They're giving up. They gave up. I can't believe they gave up on me. So betrayed.
I was thinking like, oh, I guess we could capture it, but then I kind of gave up right after. Uh, and it was too late anyways. Aww. It's on the camp. Aww. Don't make that kind of sound. Aww. Yo, Somnicanth do be kind of ugly, though. I think they did a good job because, like, from far away, Somnicanth is really nice looking, but then you get then you look closer and it's like, oh, oh no, oh no, oh god, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> a photo. Okay. Would you Anytime fuck off? <laughs> I gotta take a picture. She's right here, dumbass. <laughs> Some can't be like, oh, it's a Pikachu face here. Yeah. yeah, it looks. Like, yep, it's like a siren. Yeah. Especially when you hear it, it's. I think they did a really good job because when you hear it, when you see it from far away, it's like, wow, that's really majestic looking. And then you get closer, and you're like, oh no, <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty uh, <clears throat> you know, it's rough, buddy. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> That's such a funny move. It's such a goofy ah uh, move. I wouldn't have time for that. Ah! I thought he shot one and then shot another one like further away. <clears throat> I guess he can aim it. Sunbreak does actually have red kazoo. Technically. I, I mean, kazoo's armor's design is still like really similar. And of course they added the geometric one with like the bunny ears and stuff and the, the mask, the face mask. Because it's geometric. Yeah, Afflicted Kezu has is colored red, so and it looks pretty much like red Kezu. It's not the same, and you don't get the the red armor or anything like that. But it's pretty mu like you know what I mean. It's not weak to water or anything like that. But uh, you know. I need to cure my frenzy. There it is. No, it's not. That was a heal from. Nice, let's go. Red Kizu, but it's actually just a red Kizu. Yeah, exactly. 
No large monsters in the area, but it's best to stay alert. <laughs> There's literally a Goss Harag, but all right. Four head. F five. The five head. Foomp. Oh no. I don't care. All right, let's see if I did get my ass kicked or not. Uh... Yeah, okay. Goofy rank. <laughs> G rank stands for goofy rank. Thank you so much, Anthony. No, hit me. Not paying attention to the gauge. Nice forehead. Is high ranked monsters all crackhead monsters? Uh, G rank is, yeah. Copium rank, yeah. Oops. Mind if I just uh <coughs> just, uh, just uh let me just uh yoink. Yeah, if for some reason they just fling them. I don't know why. Oh, 
Oh oh. Oof. I'm still still learning how to use switch axe, so be patient. Shit. Ah, I tried to counter it. it sucks. Yeah, switch axe is great in raise. I think it's probably my favorite. Switch axe is pretty fantastic as like a middle ground between longsword and greatsword, I think. I mean, obviously you kind of switch between the two. It's the easiest way to like explain what switch axe is. I also have a fondness for Kimura's wet stones. Okay. <laughs> Never use switch axe. It's a good one. Give it a try sometime. You know, obviously, if you're able to. Same with Insect Glaive and, and Charge Blade. And to be fair, I've never used Medium Bowgun, but maybe one, maybe one, maybe one day. Any Medium Bowgun enjoyers in chat? See, that would have been such a cool kill if it if I didn't fuck up the counter, because that would have been like the last hit. However, there is still room for improvement. Shut up, Fiorain. No. Brace yourself, Hunter. These little recaps of hers are never ending. <laughs> just because I messed up us just a little bit. Come on. Everyone makes mistakes. Or is it about my fashion? Is it my fashion? I'll take that. You can criticize my fashion. <laughs> if only we had some tea. Hey, she really did be walking though. Damn. It's hard to look proud while blushing. And that's not a very flattering angle. Eh. Get out of the way, Rondine! Get out of the way, Rondine! Get out of the way! Where's Fiorain? she leave already? What'd you do? What'd you tell her? What'd you say to her? <laughs> Got some uh, adamant jewels. Nicer, nicer. Alright. <laughs> Quit walking. Well done. Everything all right? <laughs> Alex, fuck off. How are things? What a wonderful time that was. Yeah, you like you like dog ass in your face? Yeah, hopefully uh, that's what Alex thinks. Uh huh. Uh, you think it would have been better for us sisters to go alone? Oh. I must admit, it has been some time since the two of us did anything. I hesitate to use word, the word awkward, mm -hmm. but I don't know how I feel about sharing this with you. Forgive me. Ah. So we thank you again and leave it at that. Rondine and I will be availing ourselves of Kamura's hospitality a little longer, so we'll be conti we'll continue to be in your debt. Do our best. Nice. Alright. I've got some great deals for you. Wow, and what good fortune you have. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up. Alright, let me switch to Freedom Me Night. See if anyone wants to play. If anyone's around. What do you guys think? You got anyone here who wanna play some Freedom Me Night? Let's see. 
we change all the thumbnails and everything real quick so people know what to expect uh, okay title should be different now also 50 people here thank you everyone so much for hanging out hope you're having a good time we're gonna be switching to freedom me night while I do that if you haven't yet and you'd like to please consider liking subscribing checking out my channel I do freedom me night stuff yada yada hope you guys are having a great day Let's get over to PPSSPP. And let me let me hope that this is all like working properly. I just have to adjust this to uh 30 FPS. <laughs> right, I'm dumb. Alright. Let's get out of here. Save and quit. And this one. <laughs> You'd love to see it. Oops. Alright. This is where I watched my parents die, Parappa. Oops, oops. This is where you watched your parents die. Oops, oops. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Hmm. Yeah, any hmm enjoyers in chat? Yes. Let's check the guild hall, the gathering hall. Uh, put this in the pinned comment. Let's see what's open. Uh, 24? Nice, damn, Sorak, you're fast. <laughs> Spin the message. Oh man, is there even any room? Should I even ping in my Discord? <laughs> Let's see if, if, uh, if yeah. Hmm? So, I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to just to just kind of farm a Cantor. I don't have a Cantor's set, so let's try to get, like, the stuff that we need for that. I'm assuming it's going to be, like, really annoying. Because we need Ravio's brainstems, right? Let's, let's see. So let, let's get me a Cantor armor. That'll be uh, the goal for, for now. Because I heard that a Cantor is pretty good. I can make the mask. I also, I'm also going to need monies, but let's start with this. If only f just for the drip. You know what I mean? Yeah, we need more Cantor parts and fucking Gravio's brain stems. Do you think it's, like, even worth farming Gravio's brain stems? That sounds like a terrible time, don't you? Also, let me, let me eat first and then... Hey, acoustic. Uh, let's see. Oops. Oops. Yeah, let's do an Acantor. For the people. Wanna upgrade my set? What do you mean? <laughs> Isn't this like the best armor set? I seriously dislike getting brain stems? Yeah, me too. Me too. We're gonna need cool drinks. Let's see what else. Upgrade from skull to toaster crown? Oh, I mean, I guess so. 
How much of an upgrade, like, is that, though? Heard <laughs> a, can a Cantor can guess the character you're thinking of. Is that a stand ability? Uh, Mega Juice, Cold Drink. Getting anything? Oops. What stones? Didn't we have didn't we have four? Yeah. There we go. Or wait, who is this? <laughs> oh no. Is Rockano from the stream? Or is it just a random? Yeah, there we go. I don't know who you are is, but you can try to join it again. I can't remember. I know you were you were hanging out last time, but I just can't remember. There we go. Should be good. <laughs> no mate, no party. Nah, that's fair enough. Uh, all right. So, did, am I forgetting anything? This is gonna take place take place in the battleground. Yeah. Uh, potion, mega potion, mega juice, cool drink, yada yada. Looks fine to me. If anything, I mean. Farming uh, Akinator would be great because uh, you can sell his parts for like a bunch of money, uh, and that would be nice. I know you are, but what am I? Damn. Some deep questions out here. Long sword gang. Unfortunately, I didn't. I was thinking about doing it, but I didn't set up any uh, any other equipment loadouts for for like in, in preparation for this, like I was with Rise. Honestly, I just uh, I really prefer. Oh, I didn't bring any flash bombs or sonic bombs. My bad. I really prefer the modern games uh, because like the way the decorations are are linked up with the equipment loadouts, I think that's a lot better. Attackinator and Monster Hunter. Thank you, Jacob. Appreciate appreciate the copy pastas. I have to get some part breaks. Tail on the horn. Oh no, I forgot about that. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Imagine battling Akinator on, Go on Goofy while mobile rank. Yeah. I mean... Is there... Is there G-rank Akinator? God damn it, guys! Is there a G-rank Akinator in Generations? 
Is Akantor is in Generations, right? Or is it Generations Ultimate? Either one. Because um, in Freddy Midnight, there's uh, there's no uh, G rank Akantor. I haven't fought Guy's McGorm in a while. Oops. Guess we could have done that as well. The whole the whole rise section was just single player. <laughs> Shoot, I'm with the science team. Oh, where am I? Oh my god. Oh, there is a G-Rank of Cantor? Really? In Freddy Me Night? That's cool. I guess I was thinking of uh, Portable Third. That's cool. Yeah, I haven't done any DLC, so... No, Akinado lives in Soupland. Well, the more you know. Anton. No. Good soup. <laughs> yeah, don't you love it when uh, when V from Devil May Cry was like good soup. Hey, it'd be hilarious if we got the tail cut here and it fell into lava. Uh-oh. Let's get the unfunny tail cut. Let's get the tail cut that has no humor attached to it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Oh, there's no point in g a Cantor? There's no difference in loot? I'm assuming you get like a ticket or something, right? Like a special... A special event uh, equipment? Or at least like maybe a higher chance for something like... Slick axes or something like that? Funny tail cut? Funny tail cut? Some greatsword ticket. Alright, okay. It's nothing special. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Oof. A lot of times doing event quests is kind of for... Okay, nice. Kind of for like collection purposes only. No Cantor G-Rank armor? No. Apparently. Maybe? I don't think so. Oh my gosh, guys. Akinator is getting fucking floored. Yeah, he's a damage sponge, but we're we're definitely uh we're soaking him. He, he's oh, you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, forgot cold drinks. You love this fight? The fight's pretty good. I don't want to do Yama, and I, I don't have access to G3, but I'm down to do anything below that. Nice, let's go! Maybe we could do a, a regular Fatalis. In, like, high rank, I guess, yeah. I know it's not- oops. I know it's not really, like, the same as G rank, but hey. Wiping the floor with a Cantor, yeah. He's hitting the Yonky Splunky. Or are we hitting the Yonky Splunky? No chat, I'm not gonna hit the Yonky Splunky. Alright, I hit the Yonky Splunky. 
Hey, Beluga, how's it going? What a silly monster! What a funny monster, Mark. What what does Tommy Wizzo say? What a funny story, Mark, or whatever. Fucking. Hit it, please. The Yonky Splinky is somewhere. Where's the Cantor spike? Ah. <laughs> Sorok, did you have no cool drinks the whole time? I'm sorry. I got three spikes. I don't know if that's... Somebody asked for spikes. I don't know if there's like a rare drop in particular. What a goofy, quirky, dainty, silly beast. Yeah, true. Yeah, Sorok was just, uh... He was just toughing through that shit. <laughs> Is Teoser armor good? I think so, yeah. It's just, like, annoying to get, because you have to fight Toaster. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> One more Akantor, and then we can, uh... Do something else. Sixty-nine viewers, nice. Yeah, welcome in everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, always looking for more likes. Always looking for more subscribes. <laughs> mm. So we have the. You can't iframe the tail swipe. I mean, you, you could like. You can like dive it, I guess. <laughs> Why can't you pick a hunting hole in Hunsterverse? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you mean when, like, when you go to the hunter hunting hall, like, you can't... It gives you an error? Because, uh... <laughs> hit the... Hit the... Hmm? Use the code Hetty in the Monster Hunter item shop? Yeah. Tail's too thick. True. It's like a, a Lao Shan long thick tail. Yeah, just dive. Yo, is that the copper blank ganga hammer? Let's go! Isn't hammer like really good for a cantor? Gift code heady69. I do actually have a couple of uh, like referral links and stuff for a couple of things. Um, I don't like. I didn't. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I didn't use the word. Uh, or I don't. I use the word shill because I don't know what else to call it, but I don't really shill myself. Um. But if, you, if you're interested in my Discord, there's my links at the very bottom. And there's a couple of things. There's a Humble Bundle thing that, su that helps support me. There's, like, Nexus, which is, like, a storefront that I've never heard of. They're trying to be more popular, so they're getting people like me involved. Uh, yeah. Of course, if you'd like to be a member of my channel, that always helps. And, you know, liking, subscribing, that's free. <laughs> Hammer's good, I tried it back then, yeah. I felt like I can, like, like, yeah, get, like, getting knockouts and shit, like, and then just doing, oh, I need to not hit acoustic. That's definitely something I need to not do. Uh, and then just doing the triple pound is, is crazy damage, it's insane. Especially with a G-Rank hammer, I'm sure, like, dude. Because the, the amount of health that the, the Guild Hall hammer, or, uh, a Cantor has compared to the Village one is not really that big of a difference. I think it's like, oh! <gasps> Alright. I don't know if I've ever seen a Cantor paralyzed. <laughs> or at least I haven't in a long time. But yeah, the difference I think is like 2,000 health or something like that. So it's really not that that huge of a difference. If you can kill a, a village, a Cantor, then you could probably just kill a Gathering Hall one. Basically just as easily. I think it might do more damage, but yeah. 
Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Glad he lost interest immediately. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> good job, Sorak. I kinda just stole your thunder, but good job, that was sick. Knock his ass out. No oh my god, nice. I think if we break his arm he'll fall over. He'll he'll F. He'll L plus ratio plus fell over. What does fell over even mean, dude? I really don't understand. I just said, yeah. Or did we break his other arm? I'm not, I'm not even actually. I'm not even actually sure. Oh my god, nice. Oh yeah, no. I th did we break this other one? No, yeah, it's broken. The claws are broken. I'm sorry, acoustic. <laughs> this is what they mean by uh, long sword shouldn't go for the head. Oh my god, that was so fast. Sub four minutes. I'm so used to the modern games, like you just push A to to skip the cutscene, because pushing select or pushing back like doesn't actually do anything. Imagine four hammers, yeah. Um, assuming they don't like launch or, or trip each other or whatever, that would be really fast, I think. All right, let's do a let's do a black fatalis just for the funsies, yeah. I haven't actually done black fatalis in multiplayer before, so that'd be cool. Or his mate, I don't know. Is there a way to make it 60 FPS? Technically, yes, uh, but not really. Which is a shame, because, um, you know. 60 FPS is where it's at. Hey, Phasmatic, check the, um, check the pinned comment. Did I get into Cantor plate? I didn't. I didn't notice. <laughs> but yeah, there is a cheat to ch to make this game 60 FPS, but it doesn't work perfectly. It does make the game run in 60 FPS, and things are for the most part fine, but some things are like locked to the frame rate. Um, so movement, I think, is fine. But, for example, using the bow, it charges up twice as fast, which is not obviously intended, so... This should be a fresh uh, Fatalis, I'm not really sure, honestly. The Cantor doesn't have a plate? Oh, okay. the rare drop? I'm not sure. What do I have for a Cantor stuff? Where would it be? Here. I got a Cantor scale, shell, a Cantor tail, a Cantor claw, fang, and spike. I don't know if there's anything else, and if there is then it must be like really rare. <laughs> Spike's probably the rarest? Probably. 
Hey, Vryden. How's it going? Like and subscribe. <laughs> How many wrath plates do I have? Uh, probably not too many, honestly. I'm not really. Oops. I'm not really. Sh Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> what did I put away? Oh, max juice. Or mega juice. Um. I have a Lao Shan Ruby. I think I got that last time we played. I have three Rathalos plates and three Rathian plates. I don't have either rubies. I have a, Nar a heavenly Narga scale. Did I get a Tigrex one? I might have been just in right. Oh, I got eight Velocidrome heads. <laughs> yeah, Mazurka, the server's still ongoing. Still missing Fatalis, Evil Eyes, and Iceborne. Oof. I feel like Evil Eyes are way easier to get in Freedom Unite. Also, I just think Fatalis is way easier in Freedom Unite. It's kind of boring, honestly. Please tips for Kushala. I have a, a video guide for Kushala, but it's not for G rank. It would only be for low rank village and high rank, low and high rank for Guildhall. So this is regular Fatalis, right? Oh, I messed up. This is white Fatalis. Well, hopefully this is a fresh Fatalis then, because uh, otherwise, that's my bad. I thought this was black Fatalis. I, <laughs> I chose the wrong one. Not prepared at all for for armor mode. Also, it's been a long time since I've fought this. I've only really fought him once for the for the video. So fingers crossed. Yeah, great sword's a good pick for Kashala, I think. I sh But we'll do a regular Fatalis after this one, because regular Fatalis we can actually kill. This one we'll probably just have to time out. Or, you know, repel. But at least we'll get him, like, super low. We can we can get him way low. <laughs> no one wants smoke with Crimson Fatalis. Crimson's better than... or... E I wouldn't say easier, but, you know... Less annoying than White Fatalis because of his armor mode. He can kind of wait out the armor mode for Crimson at least. He can't for White. Oh boy. Nice. Oh, oh thanks. Go play Gunlance? Yeah, actually. I really like the, the matchup of Gunlance versus Plesioth. It's a lot of fun. I actually farmed uh, the entire. G rank Plesioth armor for, for Blade Master and Gunners uh, with Gunlance. With the purple crab Gunlance, Plum Diamond. Fought <laughs> White Vitalis for the Vine. Yeah, do it for the Vine. Crimson's meters are way too random. Are they random? I haven't really noticed. Bunny Flash? Yo, can we get a tail cut? Hold on, I got the feline skill. Let me get my damage buff. Psych! I can never notice a pattern to them. I never... 
Oh, nice. At least for my, uh, for my, uh, Crimson Fatalis video, I didn't, like, I don't think I actually noted a pattern. So he comes down, like, right here, I think. Point. Yeah, it kind of did. Yeah, Sorak is a gamer. The only creature that can present a challenge to White Fatalis is Bulldrum. I I agree completely. Bulldrum is the most powerful creature in the Monster Hunter universe. The only thing that's stronger than Bulldrum is probably Plesia or Cephadrum. It's a toss-up between those two. Personally, I think Cephadrum's better or more strong than Plesioth, but I know there's a there's an argument to be made for Plesioth. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Man, poor Fatalis. It's just an old man. Sorak with the gloopy soupy. Yeah, he do got the gloop though. He got some bombs from the from the box, you know. Pugu would fold all of them at once, true. The only reason that the ecosystem's not, like, way out of whack is because Pugi stay- Pugi chooses to stay with humanity. If Pugi was in the wild, like, nothing would stand a chance. It would just be corpses all over the place, but all Pugi wants is pets, and you can't get that in the wild, so... We tame the creature. We keep it... Uh... We keep it happy. And it keeps us alive. So rock no! Now you have to run all the way from camp for the second time in a row. <laughs> Poogie's a vessel, yeah. Poogie's the real monster, yeah. The guild is run by a Poogie. Poogie's the one who sends us out. No, acoustic- guys, come on, please. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> gonna make me sad if we triple cart this. If I- if I'm the triple cart. We're done for. No! Don't say that! Poogie's a level 100 Mafia boss, yeah. True. Look out for his swipey. Fatalis, no swiping. Uh oh. Oh, okay, no, we're not we're not in uh armor mode just yet. This has gotta be a ton of damage though. Oh no. Oh no guys, come on! No <laughs> fuck dude! <laughs> ah Well Let's do Black Fatalis instead. <laughs> it's alright. That's alright. You brought me a map? Aw, oh, damn, nice. Too strong, too strong. Please nerf. <laughs> yeah, at least that wasn't the last card. True, true. I was worried. Yeah, the Mufa, the Mufas are great. I love the Mufas. The only s sad thing about Mufas is that you can, you can kill them. <laughs> uh, it's nice that you can't kill Poogies because they don't like exist. Oh yeah, the damage is carried over, huh? That's fine.
Just a shame. I would have liked the the materials from it, but it's not a big deal. All right, we'll get we'll get we'll get regular fatalities. My armor details. Uh. All right. Hold on. Someone wants to see my armor details. So you can see, I'm using the um. The skull mask, right? Very cool. Very nice looking. I think it looks dumb. Uh, you can see my, my hair kind of sticking out the back. And then I'm using this silver armor looking thing. Um, it's got chain mail in there as well. It looks pretty cool. There's like a, a breastplate. Uh, and then you go to a little bit lower down, there's a mismatched, you know, mi mi mix mismatched sort of color clashing scheme, but I think it's fine, I guess. Uh, these two pieces obviously kind of fit together. Um, and it's it's very spiky looking. There's the there's of course these like you know cloth cord thingies. I'm not really sure what they're for, but they're like always on the blade master armor, so I don't really question it. Um, yeah, the greaves looking really cool. Uh, they also have chain mail underneath them. It's kind of cool. They got pointy pointy little clown boot shoes, so that's pretty nice. And they got like straps on them. Obviously, the 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 pieces of whatever this is made out of uh, you know straps on to the to the regular armor underneath sort of in, like strengthened by the monsters parts but also has like you know metal underneath it and stuff like that um very cool uh the the, the elbows have like spike uh sh you know sharp blades on them which is kind of silly it seems like a little excessive and like you know like if you sat down to eat and you put your shoulder your your elbows on a table you know you're gonna cut right through that table and that's just that's just uh that just shows that this is you know this is armor meant for business not for not for casualness right it's it's really you wear this kind of outfit not not to go to the, to you know on a stroll or anything like that, right? You, you you're you're strapped up for battle, so that's um that's the armor details. I hope you appreciated that. Uh, yeah. Goofy uh, outfit. Look, come on, come on. <laughs> it gives me the good skills. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Commitments, respect, respectable. Thank you. Is this regular fatalities? Please? Yeah, okay. Watch, it says Legendary Black Dragon, we go out there and it's just White Fatalis. <laughs> I'm ready for Home Depot. Yeah, that's fair. I could probably, you know. The straps on the side are for monsters to loop horns slash claws into. Hmm. Armor details, shiny, cool, edgy, pretty spiffy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Rainbow Fatalis? Yo! Hey, this easy. Check out the pinned comment. <laughs> it's a real drip for watching Minions Rise of Gru. Yeah. No problem. But yeah, the real answer, uh, it gives me Reckless Abandoned plus 3, Sharpness plus 1, and Sharp Sword. Skull Face, Scimitar U for the, the chest and the arm, Scimitar Z for the waist and the legs. It's a pretty popular, uh, pretty popular set. I don't want to get fucking flattened by this guy. No, you guys, you guys! <laughs> Come on! Don't be greedy. There's a reason I haven't engaged yet. <laughs> no. It's all right. It's all right. Come back in. I need your help. We need you. Yeah, one shot. It's Black Fatalis. This is... Okay. This is why I tell people, like, Black Fatalis is harder than White Fatalis. It's more dangerous than White Fatalis. Unless you're, like, a bow gunner or whatever, right? It's funny that White Fatalis is supposed to be, like, way stronger than Black, but Black can easily fucking one-shot you with his snap and drag. So, yeah. Whenever Fatalis goes down, you need to like back off of him basically. There is no Teostra Cantor variant of this armor set, as far as I'm aware. I think there's a reason that uh, speedrunners use this armor set. If only that it's easiest to get. Yeah, 100% health. 
It's it's ridiculous. He does tons of damage. That's why I've always said Black Fatalis is harder than White Fatalis. Yeah, this is this is Gen 2 Castle Trade. It's bigger? Uh, maybe. Hey, Elvin. Ah. Yeah, whenever he does that, just kind of back off. And wait for that. Because that, that move is really dangerous. You don't want to- Ooh, you don't want to be hit by it! Because the hitbox is like his entire body. No! Not like this. Don't step on me. No. No. I don't like it. Oh. I was walking around the street when I saw Fatalis helping Elon Musk to build a humongous Amogus nuclear reactor, very sus and relatable. Damn, that's cool. Is that real? Wow. That's awesome, man. Nice. Uh oh. No, not the tail. Is this the strongest Fatalis? Not lore-wise, but in terms of gameplay, I think this is... Maybe Crimson is a little harder? I don't know, man. But I've always found this one to be way more more deadly when you're using Blade Master weapons, because his Snap and Drag is basically a one-shot. Oh, no. Basically, whenever he goes down, you need to, like, back off of him, because there's a chance that he'll do the Snap and Drag. Funny thing is, when he does that bite, it's just a free opening. Whereas for the other guys, it's like, you need to be careful. Hey, Alvin. <laughs> Athena's armor set search doesn't show a Cantor as being used in, in this set. But it's not to say that like it can't work, because Athena's armor set search is not perfect. But that's really the main reason I haven't used it, or used anything else. Well, along with, um, well, it's the main reason, but another reason could be that, that I just don't want to fucking get a Cantor's armor, like any of a Cantor's armor. Because that would imply that I need to fight a Cantor, which is a thing in and of itself, and then also, you know, potentially like great, uh, brain stems and shit, which sucks, and I don't want to get that. For Gunners, this one's the easiest? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Only Slung Swords living in the moment, not a hammer in sight. I mean, I don't know if a hammer would do very well against this. At the very least, you couldn't really get... Oh, I guess we could go for the gate as well. I forgot about the gate. Oh, he's going across, isn't he? Yeah. Do you think we can get the Dragonator? I'm gonna go up there and see if we can. Imagine if they had to dance like leave earlier to Freedom Unite. The <laughs> Longsword would be safe from all the hate they get? Maybe. Longsword's OP in every game? No, not really. The bows are... the, the guns are OP in every game. Is there a Monster Hunter weapon tier list? Uh, yeah. For pretty much every game. Probably. I don't know what it would be for uh, Freedom Unite. I don't know if this is going to be worth it. I'll just see if he if he makes his way, I guess. I'll probably just jump down, though. Yeah, four Yule Longsword's pretty bad. That being said, I mean, it could be perfectly fine. It could be that Red Gauge is, like, really, really, really strong in 4U. And the point of 4U is to stay in Yellow Gauge as long as possible, but it just doesn't feel fun to me. I've never liked it.
But that being said, I've never, I've also never really given it a shot. I just saw that you lose all of your gauge once red runs out, and red runs out the fastest, so I was like, that's not for me. It seems like a lot of uh, upkeep for relatively no payoff, because I'd have to get back again. So it really sucked. I don't know why they did that. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna jump down. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah, using all your gauge was better balanced towards being fun in Sunbreak. I'd say even in Rise, it was... It, honestly, Rise Longsword was basically perfect, and people being upset with it being perfectly fine is absurd to me, because in World it had a lot of problems too. And Rise basically fixed all of them. Uh, portable thirds, well, third generation longsword was really fucking hard to deal with because forcing doing the entire spirit combo, trying to find spaces to do the entire spirit combo was really hard. Uh, fourth generation ruined longsword in my opinion, and then generations brought it back. And with the Valor made Longsword extremely good. And then Ry or World added a lot of really interesting things, specifically Foresight Slash. Uh, EI Spirit Slash, I think, is extremely flawed in World and was made way, way more useful and viable in Rise. But people get upset that, that Longsword got a, a skill, uh, an attack that was useful. All they see is like, oh, you get it's so easy to use and that you get a free Spirit Gauge when you do it successfully. Motherfucker, I never used it in world because it seemed useless, because if I missed, I was fucked, and if I hit, it didn't really make much of a deal, of a, of a, of a difference, you know? I may as well just not use Helm Splitter or EI Spirit Slash in world, because they're both fucking borderline useless. And Ryze changed that. Ryze made them both extremely good. And people got upset about that, like, give me a break, dude. And then Sunbreak did a lot of changes. I think Sunbreak is... At least a little bit more t uh, rained back, you know, hopefully people are less upset about it, but they're not. They're not fucking less upset about it. Because they will always be upset about it, because... Nice. Because, um... Because you can't fucking please these people, because they're idiots. They don't care. They just want Longsword to be bad, because they've always hated it for some fucking reason. They see Longsword as everything that's wrong with modern Monster Hunter for some fucking reason. And it's absurd. Whoa, how did I not get hit there? It'd be fun to get the uh, the gate closed, but what is he doing? What is he doing? Tail as hard as a rock, can it still be cut? I don't think you can cut Fatalis's tail. Like in any game, I don't think so. Same with Lao Shenlong. He's just standing there. Oh no. Anton! Guys! Be careful. Isn't Gunlance in a good place in Sunbreak? I feel like some people just like love to complain about like certain weapons, like they don't even play the weapon or anything. Or they just like complain about some shit without like looking at anything else. I've heard that Lance and Iceborne was like the best iteration of Lance ever or something like that. Which is great, like, you know what I mean? It's a shame that they, uh, you know, didn't keep with that theme, but I heard that like the good, the good thing about Lance was the clutch counter or something like that.
Oh no. Wow. Guys, this is why you can't double cart. <laughs> yeah, I've heard some- I've heard like- I'm pretty sure all of the weapons are like really good in Sunbreak, I don't know. People made a big stink about it without actually playing the goddamn game first. Like, I think- I think- I don't know. I don't know if Capcom limited anything. That being said, I mean, it's not like we haven't had better version, like, iterations of the weapon. Uh, Welp! <laughs> Let's just fight something else. <laughs> they hate the game because they can't afford it. I do think that that's part of it. And honestly, I totally get that. I really do. Like, I've been in a situation where a series has left me behind, and I just sort of started to hate the series for it. Uh, Borderlands is a good example of that. That being said, I don't think Borderlands is a good game, period. I just don't think it's a good game. Um, I think Borderlands 3 is definitely way better than... Well, obviously than 1, but uh, even 2. Um, but I totally get that, right? I didn't come into Borderlands 2 until way later, where whereas I was there for the start of Borderlands 1, so... I understand being excited for something and then feeling really sour about not being able to play it. I, I was worried that that's how it was going to be for uh, for Rise, honestly. I thought that like I wouldn't be able to play it. And I'm very fortunate to be able to. Uh, especially it being on PC now, it really, really helps me. Uh, but I know not everyone has that, you know... They don't have that... Uh, ...privilege, I guess. So... I understand people being upset about Rise, be like, only for the reason of they can't play it, so they feel like it's, you know, they, they're, they're upset at it for that reason. But I really think that you should give the game a try, if you're able to, at any point in time, and make your make your your criticisms then, rather than just like, oh, you know, bad game because I can't play it. So. Borderland 2 is for never on my heart. Yeah, me too. Such a bad game fucking hate Handsome Jack. They did a great job in making him, like, the absolute worst character. Oh, let's just do G-Rank stuff, I suppose. Um, I know a lot of people like Handsome Jack. It's fine. I fucking hate him. And obviously that's what they wanted us to, to do, but I think there's definitely better ways to do it. What about Lavasia? What do you think? Oh, it looks like there's a, a free space now if anyone else wants to join. Copium inhaled. Let's do, um, let's do some, let's do some Lavasiath, I suppose. Do I play Red Dead Redemption? I don't. I have Red Dead Redemption online, but I, I played it for a bit. It's really cool, but I don't, like, have either of them, like the single player. Can we play Frontier offline, or is it completely unplayable? You can play it offline, yeah. Tell you what. In a bit, maybe I'll play some Frontier. What do you guys say? Make this a, a triple. Make this a hat trick. Make it a a, tr a, a three game stream. Because I haven't played Frontier in a very long time, and I think people would like to see that as well. I'm assuming it would still work, so if it doesn't work, then I mean, I'd, we'll just have to keep playing Freedom Unite, but yeah. But yeah, don't, don't feel too bad about, like, carding guys, really. It's not that big of a deal. It was still a fun fight. <laughs> I want to play Frontier, the Unknown Monsters, and the miscellaneous stuff is so cool, yeah. I haven't really progressed too much, especially... Uh, I kind of hit a wall, so... Uh, does anyone, anyone want to join? We have a spot open, I believe. 
Where's Anton? He had to go, I think. Revenge stream win. I don't actually have uh, Metal Gear Revengeance. Hey, Felist. Yeah, it's on Stiverse. Check the uh, check the pinned comment. I'll ask my Discord maybe. Let's try to get a fourth before we go. Do you care about Hunt Servers challenges? Not really. I think Hunt Servers is incredible and I love it being a thing, but I don't really care too much about challenges. Yeah, Sorok with the map tech earlier. True, true. We got a hundred viewers, damn. Hi everyone, it's good to see you. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, if you haven't yet, while you know, while we're waiting, you know, there's, you know, you, you can send some chat messages if you'd like, you know, maybe send an emote, maybe a smiley face, uh, or maybe, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe uh, you know, hit the like button, hit, uh, hit the subscribe button. It's pretty fun, I've heard. I like doing it. <laughs> I'll do it just for fun sometimes. I'll click on a random video and I'll click that like button. I'll click, I'll click the surprise, the sur sorry, surprise. I'll click the subscribe button uh, just to get the rush, you know. We'll wait for like a like 30 seconds, a minute. If nobody joins, then uh, we'll just keep going. Oh, oh yeah, cool drink. All right, all right, yeah, let's keep going. The surprise button, yeah. Uh, is it this way? Uh, I think we can technically go this way. Hey Meep, looking for guidance on your journey? Uh, I've made a lot of uh, video guides if you're interested. I've covered all the way up to G2. The only G2 quests, key quests that I have not covered just yet is Rathalos, Rathian, and Yama, but I'll be covering those uh, when I'm able to. I'm planning on covering all key quests and urgents. So far, I've done everything in Village, everything in Neko, everything in... So I haven't <laughs> I haven't covered low rank quests. I, I made a video, a, a video uh, sort of summarizing the quests that you would have to do. Uh, but I didn't cover each individual quest like I did for everything else. I believe I did cover all of the high rank guild hall quests though. Hey Jason, good to see ya. Yeah, I appreciate it, thank you so much. It's good to see new faces, you know? It's even better to see him subscribe. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, I don't bring... I haven't brought... Uh, paintballs. We don't need them for Lavasia, but like I just haven't been bringing them. Call the Palamute? Yeah, yeah, true. Started a heavy bowgun run, and I've done the village elder in less than a day. Nice, good job. Almost done with low rank, can't wait to fight good old giant enemy crab. Nice. Uh, both Lavasia are here, which is uh, not my favorite thing in the world. What a quirky wyvern. What a funny story, Mark. Do I live stream every day? Uh, no I don't. I just do it kind of whenever I can. My current situation means that I, I have to be... It's infrequent, I guess. What I'm trying to say. He's going for the lava pool. Never mind, he's not. Acoustic, no!
How dare you, you bastard! I'll show you my, uh, the, I don't know what I'm trying to say. The other one is still over there. He's just chilling out, being a good, being a good boy. Oh, Sarak, you didn't bring any? What's the matter, you? Sarak. All you have to do is roll through the. Okay. <laughs> Guys. Oh no. Well. Yeah, he does hip checks. Just he usually likes to do the flop attack. Remember the last time we did this and it went like way better than that? This uh, Lavasia still the storm hitbox is felt. Yeah, not really. It's um, it's a lot better, I guess. Yeah. Oof. Any site where you can see longsword armor sets? Uh, I don't think so. If you go to Hunsterverse, they have a couple of like mixed things, but like I don't, I don't know if there's like gonna be a whole lot. Last time I checked, there was a few, but it wasn't like a ton. We need mate. Yeah, we sure do. Yeah, if anyone wants to join, feel free. The uh, the guild hall is in the is in the pinned comment. You have to play through Hunsterverse, of course. But well, shit. Uh, let's see. Let me eat first. Had a bad time. Plus, the else died in the water. That sucks, man. I hate that. Yeah, the boss did the flop attack like <laughs> five times in a row, huh? You think we could try again? You think we should try again? Hey, Infinite, uh, check the pin comment. Uh, to be fair, Felis, Tigrex is, is a fucking nightmare. I hate Tigrex in this game. Alright, this time we'll get him. Hey, Sarok, do you got cool drinks? I wish I could check people's uh, inventory. <laughs> yeah, alright, no problem. Alright, this is the one. This is the one. We got this. Oh my god. I don't like how we spawn to the same place. <laughs> Dual Blades against Tigris is fun. Yeah, I think Dual Blades is a good matchup for Tigris, actually. Yeah, Lava Plesioth, pretty much. It's a G-Rank exclusive, it's from Frontier.
My main is Longsword. If I didn't main Longsword in Freedom Unite, I would probably main, uh... I guess Dual Blades? It depends on the monster, really. I have really, uh... Hey, look, there's a hip check. I have, um... I have big, uh, preferences, nice, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to weapons and monsters, yeah. <laughs> you guys, did you guys see my video on Lavasia? <laughs> I mean, I, if you have, then I'm sorry, I, I, I definitely let you down. <laughs> uh, oh no. But yeah, it would probably be dual blades, I guess. I'm not I'm not really sure, honestly. Cause sometimes dual blades feels really weak. I tried to fight Naga Cougar with dual blades and it was a fucking terrible time. Uh again, certain matchups I think work way, way better than than others. I think Lance is extremely good against Gypseros. I think Gun Lance is extreme Gun Lance and Lance is extremely good against uh Plesioth. Honestly I feel like Gun Lance is a little bit better though. Just because of how the, the guarding works. No, god damn it, dude. Well, I think Sword and Shield in early game sucks. Uh, I don't know, man. I think it's fine, probably. I think Sword and Shield in late game might kind of suffer, uh, struggle a little bit. I tried, you know, I try doing elemental matchups with Sword and Shield and it just kind of still doesn't work very well. Oh shit, Acoustic is using Lance, I'm sorry. I, I kind of just realized that you were using Lance. I'm kind of expecting someone to die there. How do you move back, you know, five seconds in the future? You have to, um... You have to, um... Anticipate the next attack that the monster's gonna do sometimes. That's, it's, uh, that's something about, like, old... Okay. Uh, guys? Yeah, I've had the most success with uh, sleep bombing with Sword and Shield. It's really hard for me to like tell the different or tell feel the effects of poison weapons, honestly. Like I'll 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 use them or I'll use like poison coatings, but you know what I mean. Yeah, this is rough. Oh, I think he's leaving. Hopefully, yeah, he's leaving. I'm just gonna go follow him because he's almost dead. Yeah, this is a double Lavasi health quest. They're supposed to have less health because of that. Nice. <laughs> I 
<laughs> grown men weep at this quest. Oof. Later, Pancake. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. It's a little smaller, maybe a record size. Maybe. I don't know. That'd be nice. Oh, let's go. Oh no. I'm just gonna leave the area, holy shit. I'm gonna sharpen. Stay alive, Sorak. Hey, Acoustic, you should come carve. Yeah, you should come carve. Not because I don't think we're gonna finish the quest or anything like that. I mean, I, 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 I think we're good. I think we're gonna do this, but... But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but. No! Oh! I don't know how I didn't get hit. Yeah, the volcano theme is great. Is this PS2? This is a PSP game. Sorry, Acoustic. I, I'm still adapting to 3D Night. Whoa! Ah, the shrapnel. Am I into Monster Hunter lore? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think uh, Water Sword and Shield versus Terror Shogun was really good. Um, I don't know if I would really recommend it, and I wouldn't really use it myself, but it worked. Hey, Mike, good to see you. Thanks for thanks for checking in. I hope your day is going well too. Thank you. Appreciate you. These are my skills, uh, Jed. RA plus three, sharpness plus one, sharp sword. Oh boy. Every time someone gets hit, I'm just expecting to see quest failed. <laughs> We got this guys, don't give up. Also be careful, but like but don't give up either. Damn. Yeah, the U-turn sucks.
Oh yeah, he is weak. I always, I always, I, I never, I never, I always, I never, I always never, I never like notice when they're weak. Oh, he's probably dead here. Yeah. Nice. I'm too focused on trying not to die. <laughs> so, whenever the lava like effect is like gone from him, I, I never notice it. I'm not gonna be fighting Yama. Um, I'm gonna be saving that for the guide series. Sorry. I ever play other games like Monster Hunter, God Eater, Tokaiden, Dauntless. Yeah, I I played God Eater before, and I've played Dauntless, and I've played Tok Tokaiden, Tokiden, whatever. One like once, I really want it, but it never goes on a deep, a steep enough sale. It's always too expensive. I would say Soul, Soul Sacrifice was an interesting game. I wouldn't necessarily say it was a good game. It's definitely unique. You're having a howler today? Nice. Two eels dead, yeah. How is Sunbreak so far? It's really good. I'm kind of at the end of the content. They're gonna be releasing more stuff. Uh, in free updates, title updates, like Nar Lucent Nagakuga and some other stuff. Probably an Espinus uh, subspecies. Also, if you guys haven't heard, Espinus is officially in Sunbreak. Like, no meme, no joke. Espinus is literally in a mainline Monster Hunter game. And that is so goddamn exciting. It's still exciting to, to, to think about. <laughs> it's really cool. So, if you haven't heard that, then there you go. It's so cool. And I'm so proud of them for like doing that. <laughs> Which is a funny thing to say, but hey, here we are. Should have been in a mainline game ages ago, yeah, I kind of agree, but it's you know, it's nice that we have it now. I wonder if, if they're doing this because they're running out of ideas or something, like if this was a, a last effort or something. Here's the farm by the way, uh, Rommel. There's a, a little fishing pier with, with this little uh, mini game. Check this out. I'm so good at this mini game. Watch. 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 I'm going to get all these fish easy. Watch. That's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them right there. That's all of them. That's all the fish. It's just going to be a big bag. Oh. Alright. Well. Uh, I mean, look, that could feed a family, okay? Uh, there's also this hammer thing. I'm so good at this hammer game. Check this shit out. Watch. I'll do the gold one because I'm really good at it. So, anyways, um, so there's there's other stuff in the in the. All right, all right get get me off this. I don't care. I don't care. So I'm 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 really good at that. It's just lag, you know, because it's because I'm streaming. Whatever, you know, it's, it's just laggy, you know, it's just laggy. <laughs> and then there's uh and then there's this thing. If you have two elder bones, you can take a chip off of this. <laughs> I also play World, yeah. <laughs> it's lag in a single player game. It's it's lag from it's the lag from my brain to my hand, as Gurra once said. <laughs> you can also send your, this cat in here to uh to bomb himself to mine. Uh, it's pretty great. There's actually, I think, a reason to use bounce bombs as well. The wiki shows, uh... <laughs> this is my favorite part about Monster Hunter, all the all the funny, quirky bullshit, you know? I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> uh, and the character's like, yep, thanks. And then, of course, you go up here to the mining points. It's pretty nice up here, it's pretty cool looking, but anyways. And of course, if you hadn't know, you can get dung from here. Uh, I know some people didn't know that for a while. You can only search once per thing, so if you don't find it the first time, then it's just not there. So. Missed the farm? Yeah. It was replaced by some things, but, um, you know. Yeah, you can get, you can skip cutscenes with, with select. Honestly, I keep forgetting. Who's this, who's this Trist guy? 
Who is this? Trist, if you're from the stream, then then say something in game or something. If it's just some random dude, then I'm just gonna ignore this fucking guy. I hate when people do that. I mean, what what quest even is this? What is it? Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm assuming they're from this stream. I don't know, man. Never know. Is Trinia's boat available in the farm? Oh yeah, I forgot to show that. Yeah, it is. I need to change my weapon. Whoops. Uh. Uh. Let's do this one. <laughs> this one's fun. It's just from stream. I don't know. Whatever. Yes, I do have Discord. Uh, there's a lot of people in here. If you guys are new, welcome in. I hope you're having a great day. Feel free to like and subscribe. There's links below to my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord if you'd like to follow me or join us. We're having a good old time playing playing some uh, Freedom Night. Only thing I think Rise is missing is a siege quest. Feels so classic to have one. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Also subspecies. I think we're probably going to get at least gold and silver. Maybe pink and azure. Rathalos and Rathian. Or, I guess Rathian and Rathalos. Um, we'll just have to see. Any idea of Sunbreak upcoming title update monsters? It's definitely going to be... Um, obviously, Lucent Nagakuga. Uh, Yeah, so there's links below to my other channels on YouTube. There's Heady2 and there's a Stream Archive channel. Those are both for anything that's not Monster Hunter related, if you're interested in that. I recently played Exoprimal, which was really fun. Uh, if, if anyone hasn't seen this quest yet, uh, it's pretty great. Want to get one of the Fatalis in Sunbreak? Probably. Um, just looking at like how many times different monsters have been in included in... Uh... Sorry, Acoustic. This is going to be hard for Acoustic because it's a small monster. Just looking at how... Uh... 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 <laughs> I don't... I've never seen that before. Just looking at how many times different monsters have been added to the series... Um... Or put in games, rather. Um, it's unlikely that we won't see, like, Kirin, for example. It's kind of unlikely we won't see Fatalis. Fatalis has actually been in, like, quite a few Monster Hunter games, surprisingly. He's supposed to be this, like, malevolent force, and, and yet he's in, like, most of the games. It's kind of funny. It's never really thought about it. Yeah, it's Tiny Cuckoo. This is a special G rank quest. The quest uh, even says, like, you have to fight a Yan Cuckoo? Question <laughs> mark? This is a gold crown. <laughs> yeah, it deals a ton of damage, of course. Yeah. Nice, good job. <laughs> hey, Nyx. I'm sure we'll have Kirin in, in Rise eventually. I think Kirin would work really well in Rise as well, with like the all the mobility and everything. Bird abuse, yeah. She ranked to hunt a baby. I mean. Honestly, yeah, it is, actually. Um, let's see. I have a spreadsheet detailing, like, how many, like, times the monsters have been in games. So just going off of, like, how many times monsters have been in games to see what's likely. Silver Rathalos has... Okay, so there's, like, nine games I would consider. I don't consider, like, base versions, right? So for Monster Hunter Try, I don't consider Try. I just consider three ultimate, right? For four, I only consider four ultimate. For generations, I only consider generations ultimate, yada yada. Um, Silver Rathalos and Gold Rathian have been in eight games so far. Um, this would be the first game that they have not brought them back if they're not in, so it's pretty damn likely we're getting Silver and Gold. Uh, Silver and Gold were also added in a title update for World, so you know, might, they might be following that trend. Tell you what, somebody else can post a quest if you'd like. I'm gonna switch back to my raw weapon. <clears throat> I'm just not gonna be doing Yama. 
but I'm pretty much good with whatever. What's my favorite weapon? Depends on the monster. Uh, typically speaking, though, I like longsword the most. It just, it really does depend, though, like, because, um, for Plesioth, I much prefer Gunlance. For uh, Gypseros, I kind of much prefer la uh, Lance. Oh. For Diablos, I much prefer Light Bowgun, you know what I mean? It just really depends. For Tigrex, I probably, yeah, Tigrex and Kushala, I much prefer Great la uh, Great, Great Lance, Great Sword, so... Alright, what is it? I swear if this is a G3 quest, or if it's Yama. Motherfucker. Oh, I can join it. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Sure. It's nice that I can join G3 quests, at least, so. Do I use Hunting Horn? No, not really. <laughs> Imagine Great Lance, that'd be sick. Like, no shield, just a gigantic spike. Yo, we're at nine- we're at 9,130? Oh my god. Are you lying? There's no way. <laughs> so let me tell you guys, I don't really ask people to like or subscribe. By the way, if you would like to like and subscribe, but since I've been doing it, I have been getting subscribers at an extremely fast rate. Like, seriously, very, very fast. I've never gotten 50 subscribers in one day, but I did last time. It's insane. That's that's crazy. Thank you guys so much. That's so crazy. I think Hunting Horn is, in, is very, very good in, in a multiplayer setting. I think Hunting Horn is definitely fine. Um, oh, this is a knight quest. I think Hunting Horn is fine as a solo weapon, for sure. I think it's very strong. <clears throat> but I think it's kind of like with Light Bowgun, kind of like with Sword and Shield, I think it's just... In the old games, they really meant some weapons to be used with other people. Like, I think he uh, Heavy Bowgun was always intended, like... If you're using Heavy Bowgun, it's very high damage output for your team. But they always intended, like, you need someone like a Lance, for example, to be taking the attention of the monster. Otherwise, you're just gonna have a, a rough time. Obviously, you can solo with Heavy Bowgun, you just need to be very careful, but... I'm pretty sure, like, in the uh, in the, the bookshelf for Monster Hunter Freedom 1, they literally say, like, if you're going to be using Heavy Bowgun, you should have a teammate taking the, the monster's aggression for you, pretty much. So, you know. Yeah, I just looked at the subscriber graph. Literally at, at 9,130. When we started, I think I was at 9,100. That's insane. Thank you guys so much. That's crazy. <laughs> See, it, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, nice. It just, it just, it really does help to ask people to like and subscribe, even though it feels, it feels so YouTuber-y, if that makes sense, but, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Kezu reminds me of my ex. Alright. <laughs> Remember bullying Hypnocatrice with Hunting Horn? Nice. Is it harder to kill a Black Diablos from Unite or Bloodbath Diablos? I haven't fought Bloodbath, but I'm assuming that Bloodbath is harder, honestly. Yeah, YouTube algorithm is a secret. True. Yeah, Bloodbath is harder. I haven't made it back to Black and Freedom Unite. I'm playing Rise and replaying Halo series. Nice. I think Bloodbath is harder. There's a lot more to consider. The monster is way faster. I don't know. Uh, Nyx, yeah, the, the frame rate is lower than usual because we're playing Freedom Unite. <laughs> Freedom Unite is only in 30 FPS. Ouch. But congratulations, a lot of people, like, apparently can't tell the difference between 30 and 60 FPS, but there's definitely a difference. Um, also, yo, is the, uh... Oh, I think Acoustic did this before, um... Oh, nice! The, uh, Red Kezu Hunting Horn is apparently good. No, Acoustic! Most considered second gen Diablo is more annoying than hard. Yeah. 
How's Hunsterverse? I made sure to join. I haven't tried multiplayer yet. Um, I haven't had really any major complaints with it. I had a little bit of trouble setting it up at first. Uh, my situation, like, I, I set up Hunsterverse, but I didn't use it for, like, a year or two. So when I tried to use it again, I think they changed their system, and that's I had a little bit of, tr of trouble. <laughs> I think they had to, like, update something or something like that. But after that, it worked out perfectly, and so far, it's so nice. Uh, I think it's... It's an ex incredible experience to be able to play multiplayer with people in this game. 60 FPS on Freedom Minute looks unnatural. Um, if, it, if they did it properly, if like Capcom even like did it officially, I think it'd look fine. I think it would be amazing, but yeah, it's it's not great. <laughs> Playing Freedom Minute on the Vita, nice. Diablos isn't weak to spread shot. It's he's just they're just weak to uh, their tail is very weak to uh, bow gun damage. Back in the day, because uh, in modern Monster Hunter, they made the bow gun damage like the hit zones like kind of low, and I think that's because uh, you can have the damage you can attack the, the monster like so much. She's running, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, I, I always recommend people, if you can play in multiplayer, do it. If you can't, I understand. Because if, you, if you're using like a Vita or a, an actual physical PSP, I don't think it will work. Yeah, Capcom needs to make all the old games download available again. That'd be great. Frazier, thank you for your mummy movies. Yeah. The mommy? I mean, the mommy? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, 120 on the sh first shot on the tail. Is that for Monoblos or Diablos? Because I know Monoblos is a little bit, is weaker than Diablos. But yeah, it's very, very weak. And spread shot, it's not necessarily spread shot that does most damage. It's just that that's the one that's way easier. And I think it does, uh, okay, I think it does do more damage. It's just that I don't think it does more damage because it's spread shot. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Also, spread shot has a water element inside of it. I don't know, I don't really know why. Oof. No, I'm playing with a controller on this pizza. I'm playing with an Xbox One controller. Oh, nice. Is that a trap? Nice. I hope the trap doesn't get destroyed. Never mind. <laughs> you put it a little too close. Yeah, exactly. I use spread shot because you don't have to aim at all. Especially with Diablo, she, they move so fast uh, that you kind of have to use spread shot. Because if you if you take a minute to aim, then uh, it's just not going to be a good time. It's doing the thing. It sure is. Uh oh. Okay, it's not broken. It's not broken. Let's go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Good trap. Good trap. This is the only time that I'm okay with somebody saying go, and go for the tail. Oh, <gasps> nice. Good stagger. Oh. Hip check. Oh no. Uh, let me let me go. Let me go. Oh, oh good job, shit. <laughs> I 
She's probably running. Uh-oh. Never mind! <laughs> Uh, yeah, Beast Titan, I think, if you want to talk about favoritism, I'm pretty sure, kind of like what, uh, what's his name? What is it, like, Unnatural History or something like that? I think he said it, like, there's definitely some favoritism going on for Devil Joe, like, like, winning pretty much every fight and stuff like that, or tying and stuff like that. Like, I get it, Devil Joe is supposed to be real strong and dangerous and whatever, but, like, you know what I mean? I think, uh, I mean, obviously Rajong beats Devil Joe, but again, I think it's just a little bit of favoritism going on. It's more so, I think, like, the, the turf wars are more so, like... It's, it's less... I wish it was more dynamic, I guess, you know what I mean? Kind of like how, I think, if a Diabolus has its horns broken, they'll always lose a turf, or a turf war, of course. Um, it'd be nice if it was more situational. Like, if a, if a uh, Devil Joe was tired, it'd be cool if something... If something doing it's a turf war with it would win when it otherwise wouldn't, or something like that, you know? It'd be cool if if, if Zitsuyaku had turf wars with, like, <laughs> big-ass monsters but would win because it would just flash and run away. That'd be incredible. I'd love that. Of course, you know. I'm sure they would make it flash it, and then they would make it, like, charge at Zitsi and then... Or t t Titsi? How do you pronounce that shit? I, I never could figure that out. Bias towards Joe, yeah, a little bit. And don't get me wrong, I like the Joe too. Joe's cool. Didn't Devil Joe lose a turf war with Kingala? Um, I don't know if he lost, but De uh, Kingala definitely farted on him. I think. I don't really remember too much. No way a, a Yangaruga would fly away from Rajang. Yeah. Jeho mama. Yeah. <laughs> it was a G rank fart versus a high rank Devil Joe. That's that's there you go. Is the Monster Hunter movie good? Um they were talking about the Netflix movie. Um The live action one, I don't think it's gonna be good. The Netflix one is also not very good. I think it has its moments where it's actually not so bad, um, but it feels extremely way too fast-paced, like extremely fast-paced, and it's really, really worse off for that. That's like my biggest gripe is that it's so fucking fast, it's at a breakneck speed trying to move the plot along, like it, it can't keep up with how fast it wants to, to tell you what's going on. That being said, it also, like because it's so fast, it doesn't give any time to really like do anything, you know what I mean? I, it just kind of sucks. I think it's a cool movie. Uh, if you like Monster Hunter, it's not a bad experience. Uh, I would not say it's a good movie. I wouldn't say it's a good Monster Hunter movie, but it's not like we really have many to, to compare it to or go off of, you know what I mean? So, kind of got to take what we get. Um, I'd give it like a, I don't know, <sighs> like a 5 out of 10. <laughs> The plot was garbage, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the monster design was cool. Seeing the monsters interact were kind of cool. Some of the fights were cool, I think. Although some of the animation, I think I remember being kind of janky. Again, everything felt so fast-paced, like they were like they were rushed in making it or something. I don't know. Feels like it should have been a series, I agree, yeah. It was condensed into a movie. And you know what? I've, I've always had the, the problem with movies and television. For the longest time, I've always felt like movies are too fast because you have to fit it into like an hour or two long, uh, you know, thing. And I felt like series are too slow, nice, because, <laughs> um, because they want to stretch it out, right? So, I think things have changed for sure because movies can be longer and same with, uh, TV shows can be longer, like, you know, with Breaking Bad or whatever, but, yeah. Yeah, we're talking about the guilds one, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen the live-action Monster Hunter movie with what's her fucking name, the one who was in Resident Evil. Maybe they just need to make a third 3D one or an anime. I think an anime could be cool, but again, it would have to be like it would have to be well animated. There's a lot of animes that are just not well animated. I mean, shit. The what's that one called? The House Husband one. You guys know the one, right?
Where the guy's like a retired Yakuza guy. It's a shame, dude. It's a good premise, it's a it's funny, it's a lot of fun, it's cool. But it's not animated. <laughs> it's basically a, a like it's like a a graphic novel. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, when when we see or hear anime, we have like certain expectations as to what that really means, I suppose, you know, so Yeah, Way of the House Husband. Incredible, very funny, I love it, but it is just so bad in terms of like it not being really animated at all. The few animation things that they do have are a lot of fun, um, and the way that they like, you know, depict like movement and stuff is very cool, but yeah, it just sucks. Most movie adaptations for games are disappointing, true. There are some, uh, some, some, uh, standout, like, you know, exceptions, but that's definitely the general case. Did you get the horn? No? Oof. Wake up, new PowerPoint slideshow anime dropped. Yeah, it's a shame. It's sad, honestly, because I think it's a great show. It's just, you know, I've ser I've seen some people criticize it because it's not really animated, and I, I totally get that, and honestly, I'm, I'm kind of with them. Has stories got animated? I think so. Hey, Arif, how is it? How, how is it? There's Monster Hunter stories, but it's 3D and they, they move like 13 FPS. Oof. Oofums. Stories anyway is amazing. Oh, there you go. I haven't seen it. I haven't actually even, even seen, uh, like, anything about it. What server do I play? Uh, Arif, check the pinned comment. Also, welcome in 106 viewers, or 113. I'm not sure which one to believe. I'm, I'm getting two numbers here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to. I would appreciate it. There's links below to my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord if you'd like to follow me or join us there. There's also two links to my two other channels. They're just for anything that's not Monster Hunter. If you're if you're interested in that, my second channel and my stream archive channel from Twitch. I recently played Exo Primal. That game, very cool. I was I was looking for. I mean, I'm a I'm a Monster Hunter fan. All right, obviously. Seeing the dinosaurs in Exo Primal was giving me Monster Hunter vibes, and when I fought some of them, it really did. Like, I fought a T-Rex, and we toppled it over, and I'm like, wait a second, <laughs> you know what I mean? We knocked it over, and we were just wailing on it, I'm like, this is kind of familiar! It's It looks cool, I'm really excited, and I'm hopeful that they're gonna do something with it. I can see it going bad, um, if it, if it, I can see it being free-to-play as well, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, there is a Monster Hunter manga, I haven't read it though. Acoustic has some great sets. Nice. Yeah, I don't have like really anything farmed up because I'm a I'm a clown. <laughs> I just kind of I've I've the the armor the armor and weapons etc that I like to to get are just for uh, something that's effective but convenient. I didn't bring any meat. I'm out of mega juice. Whoops. Uh, highly recommend the stories anime. Nice. All right. I think it's on my like anime list. Yeah, support me by liking, subscribing, it's the least you can do. Thank you, Beast Titan. I appreciate you. I don't want to force anyone. If you feel like doing it, I really do appreciate it. I mean, shit, if you feel like being uh, joining the membership, I would really appreciate it, but... You know, I'm just glad that you guys are here. I don't have video ads on, because... When I'm live, I don't like having video ads, so... I only turn them on later on, and I like to... I like to add uh, timestamps so people can skip around. Uh, when they when they're watch, like, the... The VOD, I guess. Monster Hunter Orange, yeah, yeah. The fairy tale mangaka drew that one. Nice. Where do you play Freddy Me Night? Check the pinned comment. I'm on PPSSPP, it's an emulator, and I'm playing in the Hunsterverse uh, server. There's a link to Hunsterverse in the pinned comment. <laughs> we do not speak of the live action car crash of a movie. It's just a shame, cause it could have been it could have been good, I guess, you know.
I'm so lazy farming raw meats. Same, dude. Keep running out compared to other games. Same. I had like a hundred raw meats in Rise a couple days ago, and I went to the the Dongo shit, and like, um, I made them all cook them, and I got like 60 to, uh, Dongo tickets or something for it, and I just had like a hundred a uh, hundred cooked meats. That was close. Sheesh! Nice. I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out this one just so it doesn't paralyze or force or hit anyone. There you go. So you gotta think the long game. Hey Argo. Yeah, it's an open lobby. I think. I think Trist, I mean, we're kind of full right now, but I think Trist is a random. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. I thought he was going to turn right. She was going to turn right. Thank you. Sorry I'm playing pretty passively. I'm trying to be safe. I don't want to go ham, you know what I mean? Nice. Yeah, Paul W.S. Anderson. Literally known for bombing movies and prioritizing screen time for his wife, Miley. Whatever vid. Yeah, honestly... I'm not gonna say that the Resident Evil movies aren't good or that they're not fun. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. You can farm meats fairly, fairly quickly with Trendy and basic training quest. Oh, I don't know, maybe. I just do the, the the forest and hills. There's a bunch of uh, Aptonoth in the first area. There's also some dung, which is great. I enjoyed Afterlife, to be fair. Yeah, I haven't seen any of them, but I mean, I would hope that like after after a while they would get good at the movies. But who knows, man? I haven't seen them. All I knew that there was all I know is they were kind of goofy. And honestly, it's fine if they're goofy. But yeah. Hey Yuriko, check the pinned comment. Two Black Diablos G-Rank. This is just one Black Diablos. We're helping out uh, Trist, or T-Rist. Trouble in T-Rist town, you know what I'm saying? X -E. Yeah, there was also that... The, yeah, the... That part. I don't know who Tony Ja is, but yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. It's a, uh, it's a whole thing. I don't know why the fuck, what the fuck they were thinking, like in current year. I mean, obviously it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be okay just because they did it like a while ago. But at least if they did it like 10, 20 years ago, like people wouldn't really care. But like that's easy controversy. Like you know what I mean? Like you don't, you avoid shit like that. Both because it's stupid to do, but also like. Uh, and I'm assuming, it, is, it, is it the thing I heard about? I'm assuming it's true, right? The thing where, like, the dude, like, pulled his eyes back like an Asian or something like that, right? Like, that's just, like, why the fuck, who the, who wrote that? Who, who okayed that, you know what I mean? Jeez. Hey, Argo, check the pinned comment. Yeah, team's working well. Oh, I couldn't carve anything! <laughs> Among Us live action? That would be so fucking cool. Imagine they, they do Among Us and they look at the clock and it says 3 a.m. and it's like, oh. <laughs> and they do emergency meeting and it goes, Burr. They push the emergency meeting button and it's just a fucking reverb for it. It'd be sick. That'd be the best. It'd be better than Rise of Gru even, I would even say. I know that's a, that's a big, that's a tall order, but I think they could pull it off. This is a big Black Diablos, I think. I can't hit the tail. 
I guess I'll just go for the legs. I keep missing, I'm sorry. I'm my my attention is split here, alright? <laughs> the flash bomb never hits. They're trying, okay? <laughs> How do you have 150 HP at Monster Hunter Freedom Unite? Um I actually have 140. It's from eating in the in the in the uh, at the kitchen. Acoustic no! Alright, I'm gonna try to focus on actually fighting. I don't think I can actually hit the tail unless, like, she lowers it. Wink, wink. Or maybe here? Because I'm, like, higher up. But I'll just go for the legs. Try to knock her over. This is G rank. Blow sh er, yeah, yeah, blow shoes. G rank. This is G3. I'm in G2, but Trist hosted a G3, so I'm helping out. Yeah, you can also use uh, Max Potion to get 150 health. Hey, Nyx. I got 10 more subs? That's insane. Oh my god. Wow. Thank you guys so much. If you don't know who I am, if you're new here, I appreciate you being here. I make free Night guide videos. Just, you know, give you an idea. I'm currently in G2, and I have not given up on it, if anyone's wondering. Uh, I'm just kind of taking a break a little bit, and it's, it's kind of hard for me to make the, the guides, so I'm working on it. <laughs> Isn't Game of Thrones without dragons and zombies Among Us live action? I mean, probably. <laughs> I've never really watched it, but I mean, probably. I true. It's true. I am hunting for the heads. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Yeah, Ancient Potion's good too. They're just a little expensive, I suppose. I know that people usually have like a bunch of them, but I never farm stuff. Because I'm a bit- I'm a big lazy. Yeah, the hitboxes are kind of scuffed, because it's a- it's an old game. Honestly, I'm less critical of the bad hitboxes in this game. I'm more used to them. I'm more upset in Rise. I am- I get upset in Rise when I see a bad hitbox, because that's like, unacceptable. Like, what's the point? Like, you know what I mean? This is a whole thing. Uh, in this game, though, I I'm not. It's not that big a deal to me. I get hit by a, a shitty hitbox, and I'm like, "That's funny. That's hilarious." <laughs> you know, probably the only person who loves Plesioth, Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna start saying that the Plesioth hitbox is fair or good, but it's fun for me. So, <laughs> once if you ever get the hang of rolling through the hip check, it's fun. Is she leaving? I think she's leaving. Yeah. Is. Is th that's over here, right? Holy shit. She went me mega far. Yeah, Plesioth is fun. Honestly, even if you don't roll through the hip check, I if you want an idea of how to use Gunlance against Plesioth, I'm not an expert by any means, but I made a video on it, and I think it went very, very well. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Secret Shakalaka hiding in a fake cactus. Plesioth is just a funny goof, true. Yeah, Plesioth hitbox at least doesn't linger. True, true, true. That's, uh... I hate lingering hitboxes more than disjointed ones. Oh, Among Us? Did you see Shakalaka vent? I hope they reintroduce water mechanics. We'll see. I know, ooh, I know some people really liked it. Um... I'm kind of uh, neither here nor there. Hey, take two. Yeah, check the pin comment. I am playing on PBS as PB. Remote bro. Yeah, you can't pause while we're writing. The pausing is restricted in, in Rise, unfortunately, sometimes. No acoustic. Is that the, that's the second? Yeah. He's using bow, so it's harder. I feel that. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice. Is he, He's going for the horns, right? I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. I need to be helping... No! Ah. I need to be helping breaking the horns. That's, that's my bad. 
Uh, that's a special move, isn't it? Maybe? Bow against Diablos is bold to say the least, yeah. Oh, the horns are broken. Um, never mind. Why do I dive that? Oh, wow, that was lucky. It's a rock, no! It's a rock! The hip check. Nice. Oh shit, there we go. Is using cats in this one worth it? Yes. Yeah, GG's, GG's. Diablos is one silly individual, yeah. Yeah, if Plesioth comes back and they don't have his his bad hitbox. I mean, okay, I've said it before, I think it'd be cool if they had a if they reintroduced uh Plesioth, but um give him a good hitbox and then have a special event quest where it's the bad hitbox. I think that'd be fun, you know. When he taunts before running, he'll always slide after running. We'll deal more damage and run into range speed, even when on a rage. Uh, she definitely didn't do that, but I think that might be like a modern, like a later game thing. I'm not sure. I never got to Gogmazios. I think Trist is random, yes. But I mean, hey. They needed help, so why not? Plus the auth, but quirky, yeah. They can have the quest description be like, this Plesioth's kind of quirky. He's hitting the Yonky Splunky. <laughs> My god, can you imagine a Jerma reference in, uh, in Monster Hunter? Holy shit. I think I would shit and piss if I saw that. <laughs> what armor set am I using? It's the Skull Face, Sinatar U, Sinatar U, Sinatar Z, Sinatar Z, or whatever. Does Fate stack with Trank? I think so. I hope so. Oh, whoops, I... Ah, I did two fucking things. Let me just, uh... Stop being stupid for a minute. And pay attention. I did King Truffle and I thought it said King Turkey, alright? This is why I like to do both Kings, just so I don't make the mistake. Oops! Ah. <laughs> Why are there 50 chats? Oh my god. Gathering Hall music wants to make me do the Scottish jig. Nice. Top 3 Monster Hunter series? Uh, I'd have to think about it. Okay, I've thought about it. What happens if you fast forward in multiplayer? Uh, you just get disconnected. You can you can use it sparingly, and there will be a little bit of desync, but your character will catch up. But if you if you fast forward for too long, or too much, then you'll just disconnect from everyone else. Want to do you can lose? I don't think I can. I mean, maybe I can. I don't know. You can, you can host it if you want, and I can see if I can join, but I don't think I can. Hey, now you have to leave the party lobby to equip and eat food? Yeah. There's, um... There's, uh, what's it called? Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, like, complete or whatever, and uh, it, it adds a lot of features. You can actually change your equipment into... I haven't used it, but I've been thinking about, like, at least showing it off. Uh, there's a lot of really, really cool features.
Can you get banned for fast forwarding in multiplayer? Yeah, I need to be HR9. But it disables controls when playing multiplayer. I mean, yeah. I have it just because, uh... Uh, when I'm outside of the hall, you know, it's not multiplayer. What do they have in second and G two? None of these. None of these are really fun. Oh, Copper Blingong is kind of fun. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Bapa bamba ba 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 What Freedom Unite mod was it? I'll show it after this quest. I think it's Monster Hunter Freedom Unite Complete. Here, I'll, I'll put a link. Uh, if I can find it. You need a copy of Portable Second G, though. It doesn't work on a Freedom Unite. Uh, where is it? Holy shit. I have so many... Uh... I have so many bookmarks, dude. Ow! Toxic, dude. Toxic Apseros. Doesn't Eucalyptus not have the dumb boulders during the ice dive in this game? I don't know. I haven't... I haven't really, uh, played him. The only time I saw Eucalyptus is when I used cheats to, like, rush to the end of the game. And then I fought him for a minute and then I quit. And then I stopped playing for, like, a year or something. <laughs> and then I made a new save after because I felt dumb that I sped through the game, you know? And then I think at on that save, I believe- er, On my first save, I got up to Kezu in Neko's quests. And Kezu was kicking my ass. So I figured, you know what, whatever, I'll just- I'll just sp speed through the game to see what there is. And I did. And I saw stuff. And then, uh, and then I stopped playing. And then my, f my second playthrough is when I made Cat Brain. Uh, and then later on I remade her to, for the guide series. So far that's, that's my main character. Oh, I could've used the ice longsword. It's not that big a deal, I guess. Oof. Oh, shit, dude. Please, no. Okay. Acoustic, be careful! Yeah, this monkey is crazy. He's like Rajong, honestly. Gurnkom <laughs> wished he had this much cake. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> oh no. Oof! I'm trying a no wire bug run of Sunbreak. Just beat Magma Drone and I want to die? Yeah, oof. That's rough. Go Lyra. Rajang's easier than this, maybe. Rajang's predictable. There's some things that you can use to predict what Copper's gonna do, but uh, I don't remember them. <laughs> Copper 
No, oh, guys, be careful. Oh boy. Oh my god, Sorak. Monkey. Oh, shit. I, I keep forgetting meat. Funny how he makes like tiger noises. Oh, oh shit! Hey, brown boy. It's been a while. How's it going? <laughs> no sense getting meat fighting this meaty beast. He do be kind of chump chunky. Oh, was I far enough? <sighs> so good, how about me? I'm alright. Hanging in there. Having a good time. I've been asking people to subscribe and it's been it's been extremely good for uh, for the channel. And uh, I'm I'm trying to do it more. I'm trying not to be I mean not. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is be pushy about it. But Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like Kind of like when I'm driving, I, I don't know why, I had this thought earlier, or before, um, when I was younger, you know how, how drivers would like put their hand up to, to signal to someone else that they see them, or like they're saying thank you or whatever? For some reason, I thought they were putting their hands up to say stop, and it's like, yeah, no shit. But, I don't know, it, it's just more helpful than not. And me saying like, hey, like and subscribe, it's more helpful than not. It's not like people don't know that they can like and subscribe. It's just they don't really, you know, it's it's not on their minds, right? Like, they're having a good time, they're having, you know, they're enjoying the stream, like, that's the point, that's why they're here, right? And then later on, they just kind of leave, and they just, you know, they just don't think about it. I mean, I don't think about it sometimes. Sometimes I'm literally watching, like, multiple videos from a channel, and I just forget to, to like and subscribe. Um, I usually like the video, but I don't necessarily always subscribe. Um, I usually, okay, so I like the video for my sake. <laughs> I like videos to signal to myself, or I dislike, to signal to myself that I've watched it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, it helps them, but it, it kind of, it's like, it's like a selfish thing, you know what I mean? So hey, if that helps you guys keep track of which ones you've, you've watched, feel free to like, you know? <laughs> it helps me, so, but uh, yeah. Uh, Nyx, I don't think it will do anything to your save, but I do, I do feel that, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I haven't been using it for a couple of reasons, um, it seems pretty awesome though. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys after this quest if I remember. But yeah, um, you know, it, it's not even like somebody's absent-minded. It's not like, you know, they obviously know that it's there, but uh, sometimes reminding them is all you really need to do. And they'll be like, you know what, yeah, now that you mention it, I will do that, you know what I mean? And that's just really nice. I think that's cool. It's just, I never really do it because I feel like I don't want to... It, it feels pushy to me, but honestly, I mean, I think it's more, more of a good thing than, than not. So. Good contents, nice, nice chat interactions. Thank you, man. I try. It's definitely what I'm going for. <laughs> Often need reminders, yeah. And it's like you know, it's not. It doesn't say anything about like anyone. It's just you know, when you're chilling out, when you're hanging out, just having a good time. You know, you don't really want to think about anything. So, and I feel that. I watch YouTube a lot. I don't watch Twitch a lot. I don't watch streams a lot. But I watch YouTube. A lot so 
This is like the platform that I watch the content on the most, so... That's why I try my best to do right by any viewers, you know what I mean? That's why I don't I don't put uh, video ads on, even skippable ones for streams, because I feel like if I watched a stream and I was hit with an ad... Like, if I was checking someone out and I didn't know who they were, and I saw an ad, I'd be like, yeah, maybe I won't check them out, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's just a barrier to entry, and I don't, it doesn't need to be there, so... It is the monkey! <gasps> oh my god, we knocked him into the wall, let's go! Actually, he stays on the ground, like, longer than, uh, regular blum 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 Nice. Hit me. Hit me, daddy. Ignore that part. Ignore that last part. You can scrub it from your memory. Easy to be sidetracked, yeah. Especially, like, if you get to- oh, okay. It's like when you get to the end of a video, like, especially if you watch a lot of YouTube, if you're, like, terminally online like me, <laughs> you get you get the vibe, right? You get a vibe for, you know, and here's our sponsor, right? You get the vibe for, oh, a sponsorship's coming up, you know? You get the vibe for, oh, the ending is coming up, and you kind of leave early, basically, right? And that's totally fine. I mean, my videos, you can literally tell when the video's ending because the, uh, the sleep music from Freedom 1 plays, so. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of people, once they hear that, they're like, okay, that was a cool video, later. Like Fatalis again? We can try, sure. I am once again asking for your subscription. <laughs> I'm just surprised that it works so much. I mean, I really, really do appreciate you all. Seriously. Um, yeah. I'm glad you all are here. I'm glad we're all hanging out. I hope everyone's doing great. Oh, Theoria, thank you so much for being a supporter. I appreciate you. You know? I'm doing my thing and you guys are helping out and I appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad you're here for it. <laughs> so, yeah, let's try it. We can try Black Fatalis again. Uh, no guarantees <laughs> it'll go any better, but hey. Yeah, Theory, I hope you enjoy the uh, the emotes. Also, if you're in the Discord, you should have access to uh, a special uh, membership channel. I, tr I don't really have too many special things for it, honestly, yet, but um, I, I try to do some things. Uh, I, I'm trying to do like a, a week, uh, monthly like update on how the channel's going in the uh, in the membership thing at the very least. If if you're like supporting me, you have, you have the right to know like you know what I mean. Tell him to sub with the Barack Obama voice. <laughs> I mean, I can't even do a good one. <laughs> uh oh oh, my fellow monster hunters. Uh, <laughs> my fellow Americans. Uh, bottom text. Sus. Among Us. Is that, is that good enough? Transparency is refreshing and resonates well with this. I'm inspired- you guys know Disguised Toast? I'm heavily inspired by this one video he made where he was talking about, um, just like, like, the financial side of things, right? He, he felt like- oh, don't forget Bring Meat, thank you so much. I, <laughs> I was gonna forget, seriously. Um, he even said, like, I probably shouldn't really be telling people this, and, like, a lot of people are telling me, like, you know, don't really tell people this because they don't really need to know and it's like it probably will just make people feel strange about it but I just really uh, enjoyed learning about like his financial situation his financial side of things for example so do I specifically need the Japanese Freedom Unite port <laughs> you need the portable second G yeah for the for the mod an official version of course you know Oh shit! Uh, before we before we start, I'm gonna dom I'm gonna show you guys the mod. Sorry, before I forget, uh, I don't know why I was just about to to forget again. Uh, other. Yeah, you see how it says press circle button. Yeah, see this is all all the uh, credits for the people who worked on it. So, a couple of, well, first of all, I'm pushing circle now instead of X to uh, interact with things. It's all, it's using the same saves and everything. This is a copy of, this is a modded copy of Portable Second Chi, and they made it so that you could use Freedom Night saves with it, first of all. Another really, really, really nice feature from this mod. Uh, let's take a look at my weapons, shall we? Oops, I pushed X again. It's, it's circle now. Let's take a look at my weapons, yeah? 
Wait. Wait, what? <clears throat> so it's supposed to sh <laughs> it's supposed to show them as their their raw values, you know, like without bloating. I don't know why it's not actually. It should be. Maybe it's the other one. Oh great, now there's two. Uh, is it this one? This is the Japanese one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. God, now I don't know which one was which. This is pretty much complete. Uh, let's remove this one. Why is it not? I I'm pretty sure. Oh, you oh, you have to turn the cheat code on. All right, yeah, that sucks. Ah, uh, well, whatever. I, I could have sworn that there was a thing, but anyways, um, let me show you like the main thing. They added a couple of uh, quality of life things. Assuming it's working, uh, you can talk to this cat. And okay, I don't think it's working properly. Maybe it's like messed up. That's weird. This is the right one, right? This is. I don't know why it's not working, honestly. This worked before. I just haven't, like, used it. That's so strange. Why is it not working? <laughs> is... Because when I installed it, um, it asked me a couple questions, like, what features do I want? Um, a couple of features that I did in the offline gathering hall, you can change your, uh, your equipment here. Maybe it's because- Oh! I think it's because I'm connected to Hunsterverse. I'm pretty sure it disables, like, a lot of things. To, to fall in line with Hunsterverse. Uh, let me try disconnecting and see if it works, maybe? Or turning off a special, I think maybe this is why this was turned off. Let me try that, because, sorry everyone. I, I, I'm not, I don't usually this, use this mod, so let's see if that worked. Oops. No, man, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> It's supposed to- it's supposed to let me change equipment in the hall, and I'm supposed to be able to use, uh... When I talk to this cat, I'm supposed to have access to all of the, uh, the granny's, uh... You know, the- the, the peddler granny outside. I'm supposed to have access to all of those, Because uh, you know how, um... You know how in the base game, like, you have to wait to get a specific, uh... Turn VPN off? I- yeah, I turned it off. Oh, restart maybe? Ah, whatever. Maybe, but um, I'm not. I don't know the specifics. Let me reconnect to Hunsterverse. But yeah, there's a couple of really cool quality of life features. I linked it earlier. Um, and yeah, it's pretty pretty nifty stuff. <clears throat> yeah, raw stat display is my favorite thing. I I do not like bloated stat values like at all. Close and open again. It's fine. I'll maybe I'll do it like later, but I don't want to. I don't want to keep people waiting. <laughs> um, another thing that it does is it gives you event quests. It gives you like I think all of the event quests. That's another huge quality of life is that you don't have to do any event quest shenanigans. I think it just it just adds more space for all of the event quests. I think so. That's really cool. Again, it's it's called Free Me Night Complete because it's supposed to be like this is the the best version like that you can play basically. Adds a bunch of quality of life like that. Um, alright. Let's give this another shot. Oops. 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 Yeah, fatalis. Alrighty, everyone. Fingers crossed. Event quests are cool, yeah, yeah, true. And it also, it also gives you access, of course, to the Japanese exclusive ones, I'm pretty sure. Um, again, it's it's supposed to be, like, the complete version of, uh... Freedom Me Night. Let me just look at the, the link that I sent. Oh, jeez, I'm opening up closed tabs and I see Aiden and the handler and stuff. <laughs> I didn't actually open it, apparently. You get the uncensored blood effect, of course, from 
from you know Freedom Two, or what, or you know, whatever. It also changes the music. The original Japanese version of the Snowy Mountains battle theme. You get ten Japanese exclusive downloadable quests with English translations. You get a Japanese exclusive Pugi costume. You get all DLC at at the same time. You get crossplay compatibility with vanilla slash unmodded versions of Second G and Freedom Unite. You get the equipment preview is auto enabled, so you don't have to do data, data install. You get several bonus cheats uh, for things. I guess maybe that's what I was missing. My bad. I think I just didn't have the cheats. Like, yeah, damn it. <laughs> Those are cheats that enable the, the ah, whatever. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Those were cheats, and I just didn't have them enabled. I didn't have them even in the the, the cheat. Uh, uh, did I roll that, or was I just lucky? I don't think I rolled. Anyways, whatever. Yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> my grandma moves faster than this version of Fatalis. True. You love Fatalis so much, but you want white and crimson back? Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what they do since Fatalis going forward is supposed to be like canon or whatever. I did roll it. Nice. I'm a gamer. What can I say? But I get performance anxiety. <laughs> Why so slow? I don't know, man. Fatalis is just hella slow. That's just, just this is just how the old Fatalis worked. Yeah, just be really careful. You really want to avoid that. I like his roar. His roar is cool. Okay, I got hit by the end of that. Is this chest bouncy? What did I hit there? <clears throat> what a classic, yeah. It's a- it's a- okay, all things considered, this is a cool fight. I'm not gonna say old Fatalis is bad, okay? Especially in the- in like the first generation, I can only imagine that this fight was kind of epic in a way. Um, although, I mean, Lao Shan in the same sense is also kind of epic, but also kind of lame. So, you know what I mean? But for the time, I think this was pretty unique, you know. And uh, collecting this armor was a challenge, for sure. Uh, and once you got it, I'm sure it felt fantastic. At least the background music's great. True, true. It's a little shame that it's like just a, a remix, basically, of like the regular fight music, but it is cool, so. Only fought for you and it was sort of a pushover? Oof. Figure it's the same fight with nerf damage? Maybe. Hey Arif, check the pin comment. I just don't want him to step on me. I know, surprising. <laughs> Every time he does that, I'm, I'm afraid to approach because of uh, I'm so used to lightning or fireballs. Yeah, he barred the forest on Hills team. He sure did. How viable is Greatsword in Freedom Unite? It depends on the on the monster. Uh, I think it's really viable. I think it's very good against Kushala, for example. I think it's really good against Tigrex. Uh, you know. I think some monsters it's not very good against, like Plesioth and Lavasioth, maybe not. But I could be wrong, for sure. I think maybe Chipseros also. Anything that has like a a really predictable uh, movement pattern, like Tigrex, like Kushala, is gonna be really good for a great start. But anything that's kind of more sporadic and fast, like uh, you know, it's gonna be maybe harder. A monster that made me super frustrated. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's been a lot, just kind of in general. In Freddy Me Night. Not really sure, honestly. Yo, gate tech? Can we get, some, get a funny gate tech? Oh, Sarak, no! Can we get a funny gate close?
Oh my god, this is funny. This is hilarious, even. Fatalis is just the best. He's just... What a comedian! Oh, what a funny story! <laughs> Look at this bit that Fatalis is doing. Wow, what a, what, a, what a bro. What an actual legend. Wow. Heard people say Crimson Fatty is the same Fatalis you fight, just angered. I don't know, man. I think they're different. I'm not really sure, though. You know what's interesting in this game? I noticed, or I found out like the other day, you can do gestures with your weapon out. And that's, I, I don't know, that's kind of crazy. You can't do that in the, in the, in the, in Rise at least. You can't do that. If your weapon is out, you, you can't, you can't gesture. <laughs> I guess I could have gone in there and gotten like some ballistas. Nice, nice, let's go. Oh my god. What a gamer. Good job. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Okay, gosh, whenever he does that it's just it's just panic. <laughs> I like Sunbreak more than Iceborne. Uh honestly That's a hard that's a hard choice. They're both really, really good. I don't really know. I think Sunbreak is just only a little bit better than Iceborne. Honestly, kind of mainly because of the follow requests. <laughs> it, without the follow requests, I think Iceborne is clearly the better game. But I, I don't know. I just, in terms of story, you know what I mean? And like kind of character development and progression, and whatever. Uh, I felt more connected to characters in Sunbreak than I did, like, ever, really, in in, uh, in Iceborne. But that being said, the progression, like, the scaling of monsters and everything, I think is really, really cool in Iceborne. Just the progression of, like, what you what you start fighting and what you end up fighting is, is really fun to go through. Oops, I meant to use the rations. Oh well. The G rank one gun lance is the best one against Fatalis, yeah. But the high rank one, uh, it's not so good actually. The G rank one is actually like the best, <laughs> which is funny. Uh, in its class, I believe, which is why people well for its shot type, I, I think is it's the best. I don't know. I'm forgetting how to use this for a second. Yeah, it's circle, right? Yeah. Yeah, don't sleep on ballista shots. They deal like 100 damage, like flat damage each, I think. Or uh, together, maybe. And I don't think there's like a range to them. Break the wings. Can you actually? I don't. I don't actually know if you can. I'll try. <laughs> oh yeah, getting a getting a cannonball is actually also pretty good if he moves from one area to another. I think specifically moving to the area that he's in right now. I think he lands in a place where the cannon can actually hit him. I do think that the Iceborne, Alatrion, and Fatalis fights are a little overtuned. Specifically, I think Alatrion is a very, very good fight. I think it's one of my favorites in Iceborne. But the Eschaton Judgment is just a little too unforgiving. Or even a lot unforgiving, I don't know. Um, and then Fatalis, I still haven't beat. But I just don't really have time to invest in like getting better at the fight, so... Later, boy14. I hope you have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Let 
No, he moved. He's moving. Oh, you can break the wongs. Nice. Okay. I'll try to. I'll try to hit the wongs. Ah. I enjoy Fatal or Latran much more than Fatalis. Yeah, me too. But again, I haven't. I haven't really had time to get better at Fatalis. So who knows? Maybe I'll really like Fatalis once I have more time. Because it took me a long time to really appreciate Alatrion's fight, too. And I, I didn't have any nostalgia. I, I never fought him in another game. Nice! Nice! Alright, there's like nine carbs or whatever, right? So I don't really want to waste time. GG! Fatalis! High rank, of course. Not G rank. Sorry if that's disappointing to know. <laughs> I don't have G rank unlocked, I don't think. Uh, yeah, there we go. He's easy with switch axe ZSD spam. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. How much did HR6 Fatalis have? Uh, I put it in my video. I don't really remember. <laughs> yeah, he's got his tongue out when he's dead. Yeah. It's pretty goofy, huh? It's pretty goofy, uh. That was fun. Oh, I got 50 chats, apparently. Take two? Sure, I guess. Oh. I thought. Yeah, it's take two from chat. Take two, can you can you chime in saying you're from chat? Mostly just curious. Oh nice. Oh yeah, take two, nice. Okay. Um yeah, welcome in. I think uh, maybe high rank had like 20,000 then. I'm pretty sure it's 20,000 ish or something like that. As a kid, the mere presence of Rathalos or Rathian in the forest and hills used to terrify me. Yeah, you don't get those experiences back. They're fun though, huh? Fun to think about. Oh shit. Later, Virgo. I hope you sleep well and I hope your classes go well. Good luck. Still don't understand bullet values. I don't know why they did them, honestly. I think it's something like uh, the expected damage output, but it's misleading, unfortunately. I don't, I don't agree with it. This one's fun. I like this one. What do you, what do you guys think? You guys gonna say no? You're like no? Hey, later, Hexia. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. <laughs>
mine or anyone's. Uh, I turn notifications on if I consistently like something that people make, and like I want to see what they make like when they upload. All mainline games have bloat values for some reason. Yeah, I keep forgetting paintballs. It's something to do with the A team. The B team for like doesn't like bloat values, uh, and I'm with them honestly. You never do it. Uh, that's fair. Oh, I did forget to eat. Ah, uh, whatever. Who needs to eat when I got max potions, I guess. Oops. <laughs> oh, <f> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Glad that wasn't me. Oh man. Oh no. It came out of nowhere, yeah. That was great, holy shit. Later Virgo, have a good one. Bloat values are, if you notice, my longsword has a, an attack value of 1560. Um, divide that by 4.8 and you'll get the actual true value. They're being bloated by a factor of 4.8 for great swords and long swords. Got a heart attack? I mean, shit. I would've- I would've freaked out. Good thing Take 2 has like, tons of defense apparently though, shit. I probably would've taken half of my health, at least. <laughs> Woo! Let's tank some damage, it's fine. Let's get a trip. Let's get a trip. Oh no. Ooh, nice. Oh shit. Ooh. Wow. Yo. Hey, Anthony. Uh, I'm probably be ending in like a little bit. I'm still here. I'm pretty sure I rolled through the- oh no. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I rolled through the damaging part and I got hit by the, the wind pressure. That sucks. Yeah, I know it does less damage, but still. Yeah, poor take two, true. Yeah, for some reason, sometimes if you watch a, a stream for a while on YouTube, like, you'll get behind. I don't know how it happens, but yeah. Can you tell me how to get Wyvern Scalp? Uh, I don't think you can. Oh yeah, I didn't say what my favorite games were. Uh, the games that I've... Oh, rip. Free me night, four ultimate. Uh, portable third's pretty great, but I haven't had time to really appreciate it just yet. I will when I make the guide videos. World and or Iceborne and Sunbreak and Generations. So the games that I've played are in order. Freedom one, but I barely played it. I skipped to Freedom Unite. Uh, from there I went to 4 Ultimate and then Generations, and then to World, Iceborne, Rise, Sunbreak. I also got 3 Ultimate. Uh, I got up to Legiacris using Hammer, but I didn't- I haven't been able to get back into it. I have it on- like, I, I, I have physical copies on 3DS. Um, I bought it from a friend in high school. <laughs> he didn't really like it, and I'm like, oh, I'll buy it off you, and he, I think he said like 15 bucks or something, I gave it to him. It was really nice. I don't remember, it was a long time ago. Yeah, Portable 3rd doesn't use bloat values. The the B team usually doesn't use bloat values, you'll see that in Rise as well. Where a Sword and Shield will have 200 damage as well as a Great Sword having 200 damage. I don't think bloat, bloated values are good. I, I really don't think that they're good. I think most of the community doesn't agree with them. And the reason that they do them I think is for newer players. But I don't think it's like a good reason, you know? Like, it's supposed to... 
give you an idea of how much damage they'll do per hit rather than damage over time because damage over time in a perfect world will be relatively the same uh, sword and shield will do hopefully enough dps as a hammer it's just that the hammer hits harder and slower right um, obviously ideal world and the real world are different two different things <laughs> um, but yeah i think that's what i think that's what they're getting at right like but comparing long sword or having long sword and great sword doing quote unquote the same damage is pretty misleading um, same with hammer and hunting horn i think it's pretty misleading even though they they're, they're the same weapon class Oh, what? Come on. <laughs> oh, that's silly. I'm gonna use this. Yeah, exactly. I pull a calculator out too. The only thing that bloat values do is make me unbloat them by dividing them. Like, so you might as well not put them in the game. Do shock traps actually work on Gypsaris? I could have sworn they didn't. Or is that just a modern game thing? Hammer's just OP, all the other weapons are balanced. Yeah, I mean, in Freddy Me Night, I think, I think that's true. Then again, I don't know. I mean, Hammer is definitely very strong in this game. But I don't know if I would call it OP or if it's just, just very strong. Yeah, you guys, I knew it. You fucking guys. <laughs> it's because he's made of rubber. Greatsword's the best, yeah. Greatsword's cool. forgetting yeah hammer is the strongest weapon melee weapon in this game it sure is let me find that flow chart that I've seen years ago you guys probably have seen it let me put this up You guys know what the one I'm talking about? Hammer flow chart. Charge hammer. Is it charged? No. Charge hammer. Is it charged? Yes. Super pound. Did it fall down? No. Charge hammer. Did it fall down? Yes. Triple pound. Is it dead? No. Charge hammer. <laughs> Is it dead? Yes. Post a video on YouTube showing your pro hunting skill. This is such an old image, but like, it's pretty funny to think about. So. It's a really old meme. Old ass meme. At least from like, I don't know, 2012. Sooner. I think it was sooner than that. So the last one is, uh, Rathian? Where, where do you think she'll spawn? Yeah, I, I feel what you mean, Theoria. I, I still think... Well, okay. I think Sword and Shield's better at knocking out than Hammer. But, I mean, Hammer is still gonna be, like, you know, hitting way harder. I still think weapons do have their niches. I just think that more weapons are more... More generalized. Like, general use, right? Like... Bow can cut tails, but like other weapons are going to be just doing it better, I think, for example. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, like, you know, giving bow guns slicing ammo. I think it's good for those types of people that, like, don't use any weapon except bow gun, because they're going to need tail, uh, tails eventually, probably. But at the same time, I do, I do get it, right? Like, if you want to cut tails, you either need to switch or get somebody who uses a blade master weapon. If you want to get knockouts, you need to switch or get a hammer user and it makes those people special right i think that's that's totally fair 
there is something lost moving forward um, with all these series. With almost any game, moving forward, updating the game, etc. There is always going to be something lost. That's a lot of chip damage, Jesus! Um, now, I don't think it's that big of a deal because unlike a live service game like Warframe or fucking Destiny, um, we can always go back and play these old games, technically, right? If we have access to them, which is on Capcom to give us access to them. But, uh... But I do understand, yeah, there's definitely... there is something lost. Yeah. Even if it's something superficial and it's not even, like, objective, right? Or use boomerangs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can use boomerangs to cut tails, technically, so... Uh, I haven't tested it to see, like, how effective that is, but, I mean, people have done it, so... Monster not dead, repeat weapon attack. Yeah, that's fair. It applies to any weapon. It is kind of silly when you when you dissect it like that. It is pretty silly, but they're just kind of making fun of the weapon as being like, you know... All you do is just charge and super pound. Use the, the shockwave to knock the monster down. Once the monster's knocked down, you hit them with triple hit. And again, you could, you could say the same with, uh... Oh shit, Sarag! You could say the same with Longsword, right? Like, attack the legs, is the monster knocked down? Spirit combo 3. No? Attack the legs, right? So... And honestly, shit, that's a good fucking strategy. <laughs> you know? It's, it's just, I guess the thing with the uh, hammer is that, you know, you get knockouts and they're on the ground longer, so... But yeah, no. tripping the monster and hitting the, hitting the head is a great strategy. It's maybe a little slower than just focusing the head in, uh, in the first place, but look... Whether or not something is effective um, will differ from person to person. If you attack the head because it does more damage and you end up dying, then it doesn't matter how much damage you were doing in the first place. Somebody saved me. You're both using great swords, right? Somebody launched me and it saved me. <laughs> Thank you. I was wondering why I didn't take any damage there. You guys are- somebody- I think take two maybe, maybe uh, took a hit for me. That was insane. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't deserve you. <laughs> Blade weapons also have modifiers where blunt weapons don't. I mean, there's like, for greatsword and longsword there's a modifier, but it's very small and it's really hard to like, be using consistently. I, honestly, I don't even keep track of it. Like, if I can be close enough to the monster to, to hit them with the middle of the blade, I, I'll try. But it's definitely not even close to being on my priority list, you know what I mean? If that's what you're talking about. Damage is increased for blade weapons? I mean, I don't know about that one, man. Oh, why did I... Yeah, they're just gonna get mega potions. I keep forgetting. <laughs> GG's, nice. There's some honey over here I'm gonna go get. Chip damage from the tail while trying to cut it is one of the easiest ways to cart against Wrath Bastards. Yeah. I was trying... I was trying that with uh, Azure... <laughs> I was trying that with the Azure uh, Rathalos and it almost killed me. My eyes! My leg! The rest of me! <clears throat> Noise. Noise. 9150, that's insane! Oh my god. I've gotten like 100 subscribers in the past couple of days. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Jeez. <laughs> Normally I get like 20 to 30. Well, I get like 10 to 30 subscribers depending on- No, actually, shit. No, that's, that's pretty high. I can't really remember. Um, I, I have this, this add-on that shows me like how many subscribers, how many viewers I get per day and stuff like that. Let me check. Or I can just check my analytics, really. <laughs> oh my god. On the 9th, I got 62 subscribers. That is a hell of a peak. The rest of the month, 
there's been no day where I've got more than 15 subscribers, to give you context. The highest i gotten was 14 on June 18th. So just asking people to subscribe during these big streams has really, really helped. And I can't believe that it's been such an... Mate! Oh my god! Oh, you... Why'd you have to show up now? <laughs> it's good to see you, but... Alright, we can do one more since Mate is here, alright? I was gonna end, but we'll do one more. We'll do one more for the mate. For the- for the- <laughs> <laughs> We gotta get- we gotta get the- We gotta get some- action. Ever felt guilty about killing a monster? Yeah, all the time. When I first was playing this game, seriously, like... <laughs> I felt so bad for killing Kutku. I felt so bad for breaking Gypsaris' crystal, because he would try to use it and it wouldn't work, and I felt terrible, dude. I felt so sad. I eventually got over it, but then I played 4 Ultimate, and I noticed that the creatures actually close their eyes when they die, and then I felt worse. I felt bad all over again. <laughs> <sighs> but then I got over it, and I haven't really felt... Recently, though, I did I did break Lagambi's ears and Rise, and he was, like, rubbing them for some reason, so... I mean, that didn't make me feel too good. I felt pretty sad about that. Uh, I'm not really sure what to fight, honestly. What's in G1? Plesioth, Kazu. Hey, okay, let's do two Hypnos, that'll be fun. Let's get a little bit of a uh, literally, literal Freedom Unite uh, exclusive monster. Well, and Frontier. Oh, no, I didn't. Ah! Alright, let's do this one. And then we'll see, we'll see. How many hours do I have in Freedom Unite? In total, it's gotta be like at least six or seven hundred. Uh, Hunters with a conscience, true. Uh, um, sorry, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm not paying attention. I'll bring a second one just in case. You never know. I'll bring some flash bombs just in case. You never know. Oh, I have one. All right, whatever. That'll that'll do. <laughs> Ninety-one sixty. <laughs> Number goes up, Nix. <laughs> yeah, if you if you guys would like to like or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It, it seems to be a trend, you know. Don't you want to hop on the bandwagon? <laughs> All the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> anyway. If you break the crystal in Gypsaris' head and G-rank, it'll expel, expel, expels poison instead of flashing. Yeah, that's that's something, too. I I keep forgetting uh, paintballs. No, you're gonna take save this in the story. Yeah, I mean... Technically. Technically, uh, literally. Literally, technically. Mm. Ah! It's a big ape now, it sure is. Too used to rise? No, I just keep forgetting to bring paintballs. <laughs> If it's not in my inventory, then I just totally forget. Like, I check my inventory to see what items I've used. And since I didn't have any any paintballs, it's just, it's just not there. I tell you what, it is nice people not having flinch free. So I can trip them all the time. I'm just kidding. So I can, um. So I can knock them out of being slept and, like. Oh, let's go! Oh, you dunked them. Also, sorry, Sarak. We'll, we'll be there shortly. I mean, I hope that we kill this one first, because then if we don't and you kill that one first, I'm just gonna be embarrassed, honestly. <laughs> I'll be mirror the monster, yeah. True.
Hammer uses were a nightmare to fight along side on handheld. Always getting yeeted skywards? Yeah, a little bit. A lot of these weapons don't understand how, like, how disruptive they can be, you know? Whoa, he did it four times! Whoa, that was... that was scary. If anyone's wondering why people say, hmm, it's because of Mate's character. <laughs> he goes, hmm. <gasps> Let's go! Knock him out, Mate. 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 Nice. Triple, uh, triple pound. Oh, let's go. It's a rock. Ooh. I got the Hypno Bazaar. Yeah, yeah. At least in Gen 4 onwards, you could, uh... You can actually do mounting hits. Some In Generations, I would legitimately hit, hit teammates up with Charge Blade to get the mounting damage. Um... I'm assuming it wasn't terribly disruptive. I don't think they were like in the middle of anything whenever I did that. <laughs> um, like I did it on purpose, but only if they could hit the monster, right? And like only if they weren't in the middle of a combo or anything like that. If that makes sense. And it worked out really well a couple of times. It is cool how, again, I'm a big fan of um, of giving us options to do things, but giving us a good reason to not do them. And then this is kind of an, the opposite, giving us something that we don't want to do, but then giving us a reason to, to want to do it. A, another really good example is hitting your teammates, right? You don't really want to do that, but there is still a good reason to do it, right? So like, you know, if somebody is stunned or slept or something like that, then you do want to hit them. YouTube celebrity Hetty meets famous YouTube content creator Nick's Gaming. True. It's been an honor. <laughs> Not Catrice. Fantastic. Oh, goodbye. Je suis monté. <laughs> oh my god. Is he running? No way. You bastard. Is it here? Yeah. Just did double shogun in HR Village, ran out of healing during the start. In the second shogun fight, it was a pain. Oof. This is bad. Mounting phrase in GU and rises, as they say in France. Nice. <laughs> Pretty good. It'd be crazy if he was bugged and he would just fly around areas and never land. Imagine. I wonder if that's ever happened. Oh, rip. I like how the Hypnogatrice armor looks. It's cool. It's pretty good. Good. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh wow, it sent me this way. Uh oh, uh oh. The revenge swings. See, Longsword in Friend of the Night is so. It's not even any good. You can't launch your teammates. <laughs> Walmart Yen Kudku? Next. That's just disrespectful. She. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. All right. Let me see if I can't get a little frontier action really quickly. If you guys wanna just hang out in the in the chair here while I see if I can not while I let's see if I can remember. Sit down. 
Is it down? Yeah. Let me see if I can remember, remember how to do it. Uh... Okay. So I run... That's my computer, sorry. I run that, and then I... I do... Oh god. I'm gonna check my Discord. I think I have it set there. Uh, it's like go something something. Go run main dot go. I think it's go run main dot go. So open in command. Open PowerShell. I forgot how to open a command prompt in, in a folder. I know there's a way. Is it like hold control or hold shift? Oh, hold, there we go, okay. Go run main.go. Does that work? Yes. How often do I stream? As much as I can. <clears throat> Currently I'm able to but I don't know how long that'll be. So I'm just kind of doing as much as I can. Sorry, that was my computer. Uh, I don't remember my fucking info. God damn it. Uh, uh, the wrong info, isn't it? Oh man. No. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait. Did I... Alright. Is that it? <clears throat> no. <laughs> hold on, sorry. I need to... Shit, that was just the wrong. I'm sorry, it's been such a long time since I've played this, I need to remember. Thanks for the subscription, uh, Francesco. You know what's funny? Um, I logged into Stream Elements the other day, and it actually recognized, for once, that I like had new memberships and stuff. Did it show on? It didn't show on screen, huh? And of course, the, so the way okay, so the way that this works is that I have uh, announcements set up. So, for example, uh, I can redo these. Uh, this is what it's supposed to look like. And it's not even... Oh, yeah, it is on here, isn't it? Yeah. This is what it's supposed to look like. Uh, but unfortunately... <sighs> the connection between YouTube and any other, like, streaming platform or whatever, like, you know, thing like this... Uh, it, YouTube just doesn't tell anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? These are all, like, the five from the other day, by the way. And then Jack Daniels. Yeah. Jack Daniels so uh, I was surprised that these were actually recognized, but unfortunately the one that we got today, it doesn't even show on this list, and it really, really sucks, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it. Anyways, uh, let me, sorry. I need to open up the, the thing. Jeez, dude, I'm sorry. So getting Frontier to work is pretty tough. Is this stream freezed? Oh, it is. That's weird. Why? Oh, because I'm not... That's weird, sorry. Thank you. Getting Frontier to work is tough. It's difficult. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, really? I can't remember any of my shit. Wait, is it this? Oh my god. I should have wrote this stuff down. And I did, but like, it's not accurate. Jeez, man. Alright, well... <sighs> Alright, let me try this one then, because I think this might be it. Please be this. <gasps> oh, it worked! Okay, sorry. Alright, everyone in Freedom Unite, thank you so much for helping out. I really appreciate you. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna save real quick, and then we're gonna switch over to, to Frontier, because I finally got it to work, because I'm... <sighs> I had to remember my password, goddammit. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, I guess let's switch to this one. Oh, hey! Very cool become a member. There you go. I think that was the, the one from earlier. Uh, oh, oh, wait. Oh, Gim, Gim Krang became a member? Did I miss that one? When was that? <laughs> God damn it! What? What's... I'm s- I, I'm so confused, dude. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe it's because I switched to this scene? I don't know, man. I'm sorry, this... It doesn't work like it's supposed to. Alright, let's do this, and let's start the game. Meow meow. Close. Nope. There we go. I need to open my phone again, because that's what I use chat for. <coughs> Uh... <clears throat> oh no, what? Oh my god. <sighs> what the fuck, man? I don't know what happened. Uh, is this just the wrong account, or...? I don't, oh, did I choose the wrong character? God damn it! Let me let me double check. I'm sorry. This is a mess. <laughs> it's not showing my character. Unfortunately, the way that this thing works, it makes it very difficult to. Uh, it doesn't work how you might expect. Sorry. One sec. Sorry. Sorry. Um, because when you log in, you also choose a character. I don't think I chose the wrong one. I don't know if I... Oh, no. I think my character is just gone. Unless this is just the wrong... Damn it. Alright, whatever. Let's, let's just... Let's just go in and make a new character, I guess. Just, just for a bit. Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, I think I have like a setup. Already. I like to write down like what my characters look like. Yeah. Let me just let me just hide this real quick. You guys don't need to know the specifics of my character. <laughs> um 
All right, well, this isn't right. Oh, wait, no, that's freedom. Whoops, I'm stupid. There we go, frontier. All right. Unfortunately, this loops like very quickly. It's a cool song, though. I think it's the the like Shengoran, isn't it? So, last time I played, I didn't have this new... I didn't have this new, uh... What's it called? I didn't have this new, uh... Translation. All this new stuff is... I mean, not everything is translated, but... So, there's sword and shield, there's dual blades, there's greatsword, longsword, hammer... Hunting horn, lance, gun lance, light bow gun, heavy bow gun, bow. And then I guess this is saying, like, this is the one that we recommend for uh, beginners or whatever. I think my controls are fucked up too. God damn it, dude. Ah! No booba. I kind of want to use lance. I mean, it doesn't matter which weapon you choose, but I don't know. The Lance uh, pose was looking pretty s spiffy. <clears throat> yeah, sorry for the uh, the scuffedness of, of starting this. Uh, I haven't played this in a very long time, so I didn't have it like set up just yet. So. Yeah, I lost my previous save. I don't know what happened to it, honestly. I'm not, I don't, I just, I don't know what happened. How is mouse and keyboards in this game? Uh, I think it works fine, but I'm going to say it's probably really recommended to, uh, to not use mouse and keyboards and like, you know. Oh my God, <laughs> please don't, don't throw tutorials at me. Yeah, a lot of stuff is still not translated, which is a shame, but... Uh, let's utilize Hunter Navi. I don't know where to start. GR doesn't increase. Uh, help you in an easy and to understand way. Receive achievement rewards to enhance your hunting life. Sure. Let's take a quest. First, learn how to take a... Learn how to... Uh, first, let's take a quest. <coughs> So this is just like a, uh, this is like, do all of this stuff, right? And you'll get rewards. This is like a tutorial system. It's really, honestly, very useful. And of course, the first thing that they teach you is you talk to this this chick to, uh, to do quests. And, uh, let's see, what's, what's fancy here? Nothing? Is there nothing? Is there nothing? God damn it. Hunter oh, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Here we go, Hypnoka trees. Oh, Tycoon Semaza. That's fun. It's not going to be a high rank one, though, but... Tell you what, let's do Tycoon and then we can do Hypnok. And I'm probably going to get my ass kicked because I'm using Lance. Oh, I, I achieved... Uh, what's the buttons? R2 and R1. Oh boy, they're not working. What was it? There it is. Oh. So I unlock this by taking a quest. But I can't receive rewards during a quest. Alright, whatever. Do I have anything here? I do. It has been so long. And I've barely played this game anyways. Yeah, this game I think runs on MH DOS. Or dose. I didn't really get too far on my main save anyways, but it does kind of suck. Alrighty, everyone. This is Frontier, if you haven't seen it before. Uh, it's a very good game. The music slaps. I don't think it's too loud, but let me know if it is, I suppose. This 
Apocalypse looks so cool. It is very cool. I love my so far what I've seen. Oh wow. So all that stuff on the right was not translated before. So it's telling me how to play. There's R1 plus X is strong guard. Okay. There's area guard, which is R1 plus hold X. <laughs> And then there's regular guard. I don't know how what any of that means, but damn, that looked cool. Whereas high thrust, mid thrust, and sheath. All right, there you go. There's a kick, of course, because it's second gen. It's camera reset. Lock, lock on. Use item. Crouch, dodge. Zoom map in and out is actually pretty useful. All right. What a unique game, yeah. Oh shit, something is charging in the top left. Was that my area? Uh, was that my area guard or something? I'm not sure what's charging in the top left. Hmm. I'll just have to see. Uh, gathering here is actually really important. You get, uh... I don't remember what you get. You get some sort of grass that you need to make Tycoon's armor. And uh, this is like the only place to get it. One of the only places. It might be the, the enticing grass. Lance seems like a true fortress, yeah. Alright, let's go fight Tycoon. This is Tycoon Zamuza. This is not gonna be the fancy, awesome version of the fight, unfortunately. Damn. I don't know what that does, but that's very cool. I have not used Lance in this game yet, so this is like my first time. Now, as you can see, we can't. <laughs> Tycoon's uh, first phase, he's got three phases. Tycoon's first phase is uh, you knock off chunks of this gross shit. And I didn't upgrade my weapon at all, I probably should have. There's no, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. There's two shields in the top left. I don't know what that means. There's no, s oh, yeah, there is side dodge dodges. I don't know why it didn't work earlier. In G rank? No, this is the start of the game. We might get into second phase actually, but we won't get into third phase. We'll just have to see. The song is so cool too. Putting in a circle. This weapon that they gave me sucks. It sucks that they couldn't give me, like, you know, a weapon that, that didn't suck. Charging again. I don't know what that does. Hmm. Ooh, look in the top left. Right next to my name. Never mind. I thought my I thought my weapon was flashing because my sharpness was low. I don't know why it's flashing. <laughs> Maybe because I'm the one that he's targeting? Is that what that means? Damn. Dual blade's going at it. There we go. Second phase. <clears throat> it is overwhelming to get it to start working, but it's so worth it, dude. <clears throat> Tycoon is such a cool fight. 
I love this character, this monster. This is definitely on, on like, very high. Oh, okay. <laughs> Second phase, time to die. Oh, oh. oh it's over? Okay. Oh. Yes, this is Frontier. Um, this this game is very difficult to get started to get to get set up, uh, but it is very worth it if you're able to. It's it's frustrating. It's confusing. It's kind of scary. Um, takes a long fucking time, but I recommend it. Lance OP confirmed. Yeah. All right, I'll do Hypnocatrice and then I'll end it after that. Yeah, there's AI companions in this game. Hey, my May. You can connect to other people, it's just... It's not something that would be practical for, for like, my my channel right now. Um, it would be cool, maybe, to, like, you know, get, like, a server to host it for me, you know what I mean? Like, how they do that for, like, Minecraft servers or something. Um, but obviously that takes money, first of all. <laughs> so... I don't know. <clears throat> uh... Send all to item box, yes please. We get four pages of rewards. Pretty baller. All this is translated now, that's so awesome. This wasn't translated before. Oh, that's fucking cool. Wow. It's so nice to have these things translated. And the translation's not uh, complete, of course, but this is like... Also, you saw Espinus on the top left. Yeah, something like a main server. Like, I would love to host something for, like, my Discord, for example, but again, there's a couple of problems with that. First of all, if nobody uses it, then it's kind of worthless. Uh, second of all, you know, money, so. But yeah. And I wouldn't be hosting it on my computer because my computer probably couldn't hold up to that. Yeah, uh, R R2 and R1. Oh, it does work, okay. And then, so since I've accepted a quest, I can now collect this. This I'm just getting 10 potions, uh... What? So since this is an MMO, <clears throat> there was quite a few of, like, <sighs> subscription things and microtransactions and stuff like that. There's even a gotcha system <laughs> that I haven't seen anything about. Wait, so what, what does it say? Obtain materials from the monster. Alright, and I get 5 power juice for doing that. Uh, past version currently unavailable, but we get... 104,000 tickets. These are useful because you can sell them to make... Okay. <laughs> uh, let me sell items. And look look at my money in the top left. All right. Oh, wait. No, I can't. I don't know how to use these then. They give you tickets that you can sell. And you get you can basically have millions of monies. And uh, it's a whole thing. But yeah. All right. Let's do Hypno. Well, first let's see if I can upgrade my shit. Because this, this weapon sucks. Or, like, if I can do anything, that'd be great. He goes, sheesh, but, like, in his own... <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I can't, I can't upgrade any of this. This is the Frontier Bone Lance, though. It looks pretty sick. Yeah, I can't make any of this. That sucks. Unfortunately, it's pretty small in the top right, but you can see the weapons that we have. Also, notice the length of some of these weapons. The Garuga Lance is short. <laughs> uh, and then this one is very long. Length of weapons is actually pretty important to keep, in, to keep in mind. Typically speaking, short weapons are very strong for their rank, and long weapons are weaker. But longer weapons are going to be much more practical as well as like valued. There's an Abio Rogu longsword that is very short and does like the most damage. And I used it because it did a lot of damage, but then I realized. Also, there's the Plesia sword, which is very short. It's basically a dagger. <laughs> I used it, but then I realized, wow, this is kind of unusable because of how short it is, really. So, Frontier is for uh, second gen. Yeah, he goes. Shoo. Yeah, sad that Capcom let it go. I just hope that they let us do with it what we want, you know what I mean? This is obviously a passion project, nobody wants to make money off of this, 
anyone who would want to make money off this is a fucking idiot. So I really, really hope that Capcom can, like... You know what I mean? I hear a lot of bullshit about, like, needing to protect your, your intellectual properties and shit like that. I think that's fucking garbage, and I think that's a huge flaw with the copyright system, but... You know, apart- uh, separate from that, you know. Also, all these ones up here are key quests. You have to do these to- to rank up. Uh, Tycoon is actually not a key quest. In low rank, but anyways, yeah. I guess we're just gonna have to go in with this shitty lance. <laughs> we're, we're gonna be carried by the- the helper bots that they give you. Uh, they give you four bots to play with, uh, every hunt. And you can actually customize one of them and, like, have them level up alongside you and stuff. Frontier is second on- so this game is mostly Monster Hunter Dose. Uh, if you look at the item box, it's like exactly how Monster Hunter Dose looks. Uh, this game has the season seasonal system for Monster Hunter Dose. So it's basically Monster Hunter Dose, but like super, super upgraded. Because I think when they made this game, it was, it was Monster Hunter Dose. Uh, the reason that Hypnocatrice and the Vasioth are in <clears throat> 3 Night is because they're both second generation games, and I believe that Hypno and Lavasioth were supposed to be like like teasers for this game. Look how good this map looks. I kind of just want to explore for a second. Look how damn good this is like the best that you'll, you'll this is the best that this map will look. Oh, these these areas are blocked off because they don't want us to go there. Or we just can't go there from here. I'm not sure. Yeah, the first version of Frontier was just DOS PC. I think it was, I mean, maybe, but I think it was like a, you know, it's like an MMO sort of thing. It's its interesting though, right? Like, these areas are obviously familiar, but they're also just different enough. Like, this area is obviously pretty different. It's kind of crazy. Gotta go to work, see ya. Later, Josh. Thanks for hanging out, checking in. And this area in Freddy Me Night doesn't have this big blockage here, but there's this big, you know... This looks really nice. And there's some Hermitars, of course. Then it became Dose on Crack. Yeah, true, true. Whistle sound reminds me of Rise. Yeah, it does! Yeah, like when you call for the dog. The whistling is, if you see in the bottom left, there's a chat window, and it's the t it's the trainer dude, the instructor. You see how the guy's name is Instructor? He's coming with me on a f my first couple of quests to tell me how to play, basically, I think. I think he tells me, like, oh, yeah, you can kill these things and carve them up and make meat, you know, you know stuff like that. Make meat. Uh, he doesn't stay with you for t too long, I don't think, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty useful if I could tell what the hell he was saying. <laughs> But there, there's a lot of tutorialization, there's a lot of, uh, like, onboarding that this game has. And that's a new skill, or a new attack, I believe, from Hypno. Here's, uh, uh oh. Uh, no! Oh, this is terrible. Hit me. Thank you. Notice how they use their kicks, that's so cool. And they show you, like, how you should play with other players, and I think that's amazing. Maybe the trainer is revealing the secret on how to become the Monster Hunter Frontier ZZ. True. This is Frontier Z. Yeah. Bots AI is actually smart. Honestly, yeah. They are. They'll, they will paintball the monsters like they did just now. It's really cool. It's so cool. And it's great to see it finally in Rise, you know what I mean? I feel like if we still use paintballs, they would have obviously made the followers use paintballs. I haven't seen them use traps in this game, I haven't seen them use... Nothing like that. But like, yeah, they, they kick you out of being slept and stunned, it's so funny. They don't count, again, just like in Rise, they don't count as faints if they cart. 
when they go away, they use like a far caster. It's like a blue far caster, and they teleport out, and then they come back in. Just like a feline. And Hypno's already almost dead. I think, I think I have like a super buff since my account is new, or maybe not. I don't know. Something, something's up. Uh, but these monsters uh, don't have too much health because, again, it's like it's supposed to be like a tutorial, like an introduction. Uh, but the difficulty picks up pretty quickly. They made the game easier in, later on in, in the lifespan of the game, but I believe that this version they removed those changes or at least rolled them back. Um, so that the monsters still have the health that they, they had before. The effects of the attacks are really cool. I didn't mean to use it too. Oops. Nice, there we go. Yeah, Lance OP, confirm. <laughs> I just wish they didn't give me such a shitty Lance, unfortunately. And I don't really want to farm for, for like the iron one or whatever. Another thing really nice, you can hold you can hold the card button, you can hold gathering button, and you can keep gathering. Very, very nice quality of life that we only really saw in the main series in like generations going onwards, if I remember correctly. Hey Eduardo, we did Freedom Unite earlier and and Sunbreak, and I I'm gonna be finishing up like right right after this. So. Is this a texture mod? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh this is just Freedom Unite, but highly textured. And these are all these are all players. Don't ignore that dude's name as instructor. It's just some dude named instructor. Hey, can instructor and chat uh, chime in, along with ha Himes and Zari? Also, I know it's suspicious that they all went to the exact same spot and carved at the exact same time, but I swear they're not bots. They're, they're definitely not. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Edowato. This is Frontier. From Zenith Tigrex next? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get to, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the Magnet Dragon. Ru Ru Ruko Diora. There we go. Real, yeah. Very cool very based. I would love to do a playthrough of this sometime once it's a little bit more stable maybe. We'll just have to see. And once I have like more of an idea of how to play and like, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of stuff. Uh, there's the Rasta bar, which is where you go to get uh, a custom follower. Can I sit? Yes. Can I emote? No. Man. Again, this is an MMO, so you would see like a bunch of people around here. Uh, I forgot how to use uh, gestures. I think it's on the keyboard. What is it like? Yeah, it's backslash. And then there's a couple of unique... Uh, <clears throat> a couple of unique emotes to Frontier. Alright, that's gonna be it for me. <clears throat> Frontier is fantastic and I would love to play more of it. <sighs> Post screens look very Capcom, literally just Resident Evil without the font, yeah. Do, I have, do you have a Palico on Frontier? You do, actually. Again, this is not my main save. For some reason, I guess it's just gone. I, <laughs> Unfortunately. Best Monster Hunter game overall? Uh, I guess it really depends on what you would want, but for me personally, I guess... 4 Ultimate? I haven't played GU enough to really say, but I guess 4 Ultimate's pretty great. <clears throat> yeah, thanks for the stream, no problem. Uh, thank you so much everyone for hanging out. Oh my gosh, there's 93 people. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. There should be links below to my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord if you'd like to follow or join us. There are other links to, uh, my two other channels that are just non-Honster -hon Munter related. Had a lot of fun here. We played Sunbreak, we played Freedom Unite, we played a little Frontier. You can go back in the stream if you want to watch any of that. 
and yeah, thanks so much everyone. Thanks so much for coming out, and I will see you next time. Have a great one. Bye-bye.